Yeah, if there's any mods in the chat, <clears throat> not sure who this uh, Solosod person thinks they are, but I won't stand for that type of language in my uh, Twitch stream. Hello and welcome back. Um, sorry for the double notification, but I started up Streamlabs. I preloaded everything. I made sure that my computer was running fine. Yada yada yada. Um, I uh, <laughs> it's fucking fine. Um, it, I fucking I had my stream up. I had my music plan. I clicked the uh, chat box to move it uh, like five pixels down because it wasn't where I wanted it. And um, the Streamlabs OBS was like, we encountered a problem, but don't you worry, the stream is still running in the background. Hit OK if you want it to continue recording slash streaming. And I hit OK. Uh, and then I reloaded, uh, I just opened Streamlabs again. And in fact, my stream was not uh, continuing. So... Gosh, I wonder what's gonna happen first. Are we gonna have 100 followers, or am I gonna have to buy a new computer? <laughs> oh fuck! Oh wow! Um, so that's working. So yeah, I've got I the Nightbot commands uh, function is a little bit fucky uh, in that it's not called commands; it's called timers, and it it took me fucking. Like months. Actually, I don't know if I've had Nightbot for that long, but it took me a far too long to figure out that Nightbot can actually do that. Um, oh, I can't. I cannot believe I've never used the Juice Galaxy um, soundtrack of S3 music before because just like all all these tracks are just goaded. You've never played Juice Galaxy, one of the single, just one of the single coolest games, like little weird little indie games I've seen in a long time does some really, really cool stuff. Um, hello. I am Max, Measly Meatloaf Max Wilcox. Well, welcome to Measly Media. Yeah, we're streaming. We're back. Um, I wanted to play more fucking Disco Elysium because even though I was so dead, I mean, I didn't get to sleep until like three in the morning last night, but that is besides the point because I was so dead fucking tired after streaming and I still was yearning to look at this game more. Um, but I was like, no, 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 I have to be a good little Twitch streamer and I want to milk every uh, moment of my uh, neurological um, awareness uh, so that people online can um, hopefully receive gratification. <laughs> no, not that. Ooh, why is the text staying there for that long? I think I kind of want the text to leave when it's on screen. Uh, it doesn't need to be there for that long. Chatbox. Chatbox, hello? Again. We're Welcome back to, um... That can't... Font settings, visual settings... Oh, no, no. Do not sh always show messages. I like them to fade after a while. Um... Did, did he say do any more? Do it. Oh. Damn. Someone who is going to be watching my stream has to do a chem lab report. And if that ain't the fucking cringest, I don't know what is. Um, okay. Let's... I'm... I am audible. And... Oh, God, that really fucked me because I moved stuff around. Um, I'm not visible. I mean, I know I'm not visible to you guys, but my camera is not wanting to... <laughs> um... Nothing else is using my camera, I think. So cool, I'm just gonna be a little moss box in the top right corner for the rest of this one. What the f Deactivate camera. Activate camera. Interesting. I really, I'm gonna be honest with you, Solo, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I have such a hard time remembering things that I've said um, live or n not. So. Oh. Oh, this one shouldn't be working. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, fuck off. Isn't isn't that Audacity? Audible's the fucking that's the the audiobook uh, app, my guy. Also, ratio. <laughs> Welcome back to no audio. The music is loud. Yeah. So. Mm, we've had we all have funny little silly moments uh, here on my screen. Um, so do you know anything about um, Disco Elysium? It's a very good video game. It's very very pretty. Deactivate. Let me use my webcam. Whoa! 
We did it. We in this. Um... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's just for me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna change the uh, timers on those ones, but just... <laughs> I think that one only pops up like once every hour or so. <laughs> But, um, if you ask a machine, that's probably what they would say about all my opinions. Um, nah, I got pretty machinable opinions. Uh, oh, we got certified solo sod. Technical spec moments in the chat right now. Oh, this is gonna be a chill little one. Um, it's a Friday night. People, uh, people be busy on Friday night. But I, I get to sip my little blue drink. Um, my Windex, and I get to play some more cute little times. I'm having a bikini martini, or what? That's the one thing about co uh, cocktails. If they have a normal enough name that isn't just an established um, larger recipe, something like a bikini martini will um, merit you like six different recipes for six completely different drinks. One including Kahlua, one including uh, Blue Curacao and Peach Snobs. And seeing as I didn't have any Kahlua, uh, I thought I'd go with the tried and true um, blue. They call it a martini. It is not quite dry enough, but it smells nice. It's got a lot of gin in it, and it makes me feel like I'm on the beach. Um, last time on Disco Elysium, we woke up in our hotel room. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're in a we're in an open uh, Discord call in uh, the bog. So friends and foes of the stream. Um, can pop into Portrayal Zone and, and just see how the video game is going. Um, actually, with a game like this... What the oh, what fucking stuff in it? Um, this is Disco Elysium. I was about to say, you uh, are playing as a police officer in the fictional... Um, I, I guess, like kind of like European, broadly. I don't know if it's specifically kind of like a French-style uh, place. But you're in Ravishal, a post-revolutionary um it's like a city-state as an outward member of a police force and you wake up after a three-day binger with no memories not only of yourself but of uh the entire the entire world you don't know who your job is you don't know where you are you don't know what you are full ass fish out of water amnesiac type shit um and you we are here um to study this dead body Content warnings for uh, violence. So we're playing the director's cut, and as was pointed out to me by Smugbot, um, recent follower and member of the blog, um, uh, I played this uh, for the first time when it first came out, or maybe probably a little bit afterwards, like real beginning of 2020. And this is Kuno. Kuno had a fucking amazing voice in the original cut of the game. And in the director's cut, they added a lot of new voice actors, and a lot of them are amazing. Kuno doesn't quite have that same spark. You know, I'm just gonna play um, some OG Kuno uh, voice lines. Uh, also, it's like, I think the year is 51, but it's like post-disco, and like the only thing so far that we know about ourselves is about the tail end of disco in this country that we are in, and the fact that I am a police officer, and that I am uh, an alcoholic, and will not get this stupid fucking grin off my face. Um, Kuno voice. E Is this old enough to be the right? Come on, come on! I'm playing a YouTube video over here. Kuno's got this. Nope, that's the new voice. Fucking Kuno old voice. I just want you guys to hear this little this little guy. Uh, is this gonna be it? Get the f*** out of here, face! You got something? Talk to me! <laughs> like, he's he was such a very loud British boy that was just spewing profanity. Just like, the fuck do you know? And he, he, he was just like a little Yorkshire piece of shit. Um... And now he sounds like this guy. Um, so also, uh, this is going to be a less talky stream than I usually have, like when we're just walking around and exploring stuff. Um, but a lot of this, I'm going to try to actually have y'all and me experience the fucking pretty dope-ass dialogue in this game. So if that's not for you, um, this stream is for me. <laughs> if there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, 
then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. So yeah, like a gremlin. Your main interaction in this world is like your own internal dialogue. Um, and like your conceptualization, your sense of uh, justice, your um, your like different parts of your brain and body are talking to you throughout all of these scenes, uh, and like affecting your. And it's all like kind of role based. It's really, it's really, it's just really fucking cool. And there's just such an interesting flow to the uh, dialogue the entire time. Oh yeah, Napa Kunai. <laughs> so there's a little. So this is Kuno S, the female, the female Kuno. Um, moment of, your, moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. <laughs> Kuno based. Kuno, Kuno amazing moments. Strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. <laughs> juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! <laughs> Kuno's on heroin. Kuno's riding at sea. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! Just the like... fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a good voice, for sure. But specifically the line, The fuck does Kuno know? Like, was just so I I evocative and fucked in the OG uh, dialogue that I, I do miss it quite a, quite a bit. I can't say that to the- t I can't say, kid, you wanna hang out, I'm not an art. Like, you can play this game as a complete and utter, uh, monster, uh, in- I'm always hesitant to be like, oh, please, insane, but like, a madman. Um, I have questions for you, kid. Alright, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. About the crime scene, uh, you kids often play in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Want to some questions later for now? Let's talk about yeah, something else. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a <laughs> shit. But he's talking over me really, really rude. Uh, what do you think this kid knows about the body? Shitload pig. What's your question? Again, Kuno, the best character in this fucking video. <laughs> Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Except maybe Kim. We love Kim. We are. This is a Kim forward Twitch stream. Uh... If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Yeah, again, we are a pro Kuno and not particularly pro cop Twitch stream. Uh, Kim Kitsuragi is uh, a, a fucking real one. Uh, have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just around? a couple of pigs sniffing yeah, around in the me. dirt. That's on that me. That's pretty that. fucking that. suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. And, and with that. It rings You're ten. Testing Kuno's patience here. Yeah. Get lost. F <laughs> Kuno doesn't fucking care. Nice man. Uh, a pretty cool kids. It's uh. So we were sent here to discover this body fucking three days ago. Maybe I should not uh, climb the ladder. Uh, discovery mode. Uh, boots here, but I couldn't see whose or what's they were. Someone's trying to grow herbs. That's the gardener that we met at the end of last stream. Um, let's take some magnesium and some money. And let's ex let's talk about this fucking body again. This the will have looks some pretty graphic with bulging white eyes. Yeah, the face Content around warning. them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. I'm gonna just pop. I'm just gonna pop content warning in the title of this stream, because again, this is some kind of heavy shit. And if you don't know, if you don't want to be uh, getting into it. Uh, I don't want. I don't want people to fully just not enjoy this one, this stream. Oh, they fucking. They changed the uh Twitch app, making it uh not impossible but really annoying to change my yeah the mobile live dashboard. Add a stream info. Oh, where's my vertical one? Uh. Cause yeah, that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty gruesome description. Yeah, like a ball gag in his mouth, of course. The hangman. You man. seem to be holding your breath. I look down. The cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. 
The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. I, I always... I We have an 8% chance to get this check. I'm gonna let go of my nose without throwing up. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind. Are you kidding? Flushing Are you, kidding you from within. Let it out. Yeah. Again. It's a, it's a beautiful but pretty putrid video game. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out. Just can't. It's just... Burst by burst. <sighs> until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. God. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. Thank you, my very good friend, Kim Kitsuragi. The hangover is clearly making these words for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the Fritz store nearby. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and, now and allow know. you to retry them. I think, do I have ammonia on me? I don't know. Uh, I thought, I thought I had Oh my god! I got an 8 pen. Um, uh, can't I put this over my, my face? Damn, no. Um, what the fuck? What did I pick up? I guess it was uh, an ingredient. Um, oh, it's... There's just so much to fucking see and so much to interact with. Letter R wears a crown on the ring below, a light above descending. It's a truly chilling, um, like chillingly beautiful, um, setting. It's, uh, they did a, such a, such a fucking good job to make this whole world feel so, like, just so lived in. Um, I think it, it's, it's Kim's fucking whip! Um, oh yeah, so we want smelling salts because we need to be able to deal you with the body. Again, officer? Sure. I'm done with them. Thank you very much, the gardener. Really wish I could learn Go this person's name. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. That was maybe my one complaint, because she's uh, a very chill character. I, think, I mean, yeah. I, I certainly don't feel great. Before stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery, bearing the number 57. So I've also lost my badge and my gun. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off Damn, yet. Kim whipped in this morning. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I'm not going to drive this car right now. I'd love to. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat. I, I do want tools though. Place. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of Chat. my tools, like some men Sigma are. energy. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work is work. The pry bar our. feels nice and cold and heavy, like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once This more. is something I'm supposed to have. I love it. Oh, man. Like, even just like that tile mosaic back there is incredible. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. <laughs> I mean, the handles are long and sleek. I just need... Snap, snap. Go the cutters. In your, it's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue. We don't need all of this flavor text. I like it. Let's you see every things in the dark you would otherwise miss. Thank you for seven. The pull out toolbox slides back. So you have to the report that my tablet is lights up. The soft purr of electrical kittens. This is precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? I need to talk to my Just bosses. Just a second, Officer. 
Then to then five. This is forty first uh, coming. Visual Speedy. A scrawny old man sits in a dusty cubicle, smoking, with a large white rectangle sewn on his vest. In front of him is a box-shaped apparatus with an array of wires and antennas. The radio switchboard. Then four, what's your status? Over. It's uh, not good. Then 18, then 20, over. State your message, sir. Over. <sighs> This is all, like... Call it calling, like... Your work sends you somewhere for three days. Like, even putting aside that you are a police officer. Your work sends you somewhere for three days. You call in and you say, I need to discuss who I am. I need to know, hey, excuse me, um, guy I probably do not know very well in my uh, fucked up police precinct. Tell me my father's name um, and wire me some money. Oh, I need to report my badge message. Ten nine, repeat message, over. Then four message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain. Over. Awesome. 1022 the captain. This sounds bad. Bad and scary. Like being called to the Edmonton's office. I can't remember what half school. light is. Is it in here? Yeah, half light is. Yeah, so like there's uh this fascinating array of skills like the like the electrochemistry of your brain, uh, your your muscles, your your volition, your sense of authority, your empathy to other people, your ability to lie. Now I my lowest skill is my uh, m motorics, which I cannot level up. Yeah, you can you know put more points into them later later down the line. Um, where's my interface? Oh. Oh, yeah. And your items will also give you a... Just, like, all of these being problems. I need to find cigarettes. Um, there's a, a pissing competition between the two precincts at the police force that I work at. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. You what? He lost his badge? Yeah. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Nice, Chester. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Good, thank you. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. Then for I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, Chester and Jean. Yeah, uh, all rude, all assholes. Welcome, Huma, to Disco Elysium. Fuck me, Mac. Come here. You've got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. What's going on? Fuck cops. Supercarpe lost his badge. He lost his what now? Yeah, man. His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. The nine come again. I didn't get that. Over. Yeah, stop being rude to Jules. He's just trying to do his job. even for Captain Sober. Thank you. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Thank you, Max. Sergeant Person wants to know if you lost your gun too. Check your pockets. Check your holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? I don't have my gun? No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Don't sweat it, Bratan. You don't need a gun to have fun. We can still have fun. Go. It's not all over. I really do not like that the necktie is constantly talking to me. It's making me really unhappy. I'm coming, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. I'm gonna see if I can lie. <sighs> Even before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. 
No, of course I didn't lose my fun. G gun! Fuck it! I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Okay, Jules. I get Happy it. To describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> I don't like my coworkers very much. Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. The fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. I don't know. I don't know you about that body. <laughs> the biggest one in the world. This really is just how thinking works, though. And they break. Just breaking that down to this. To oh, it's good. It tasty as balls. Oh, request a description, huh? We'll give him one. Describe the plasma gun. Did someone say balls? Oh my god. Welcome! Once again, it is balls! <laughs> it's balls. Welcome to Measly Media. Oh, that's not. Now you can look at the Discord toys. <laughs> Why is it not screaming stupid Disco Elysium? There we go. What's up, Solo? You have a computer. I have a computer. I'm alive. I, um... I've lost my gun. I've lost my badge, and my coworkers are being very mean to me. But thankfully, my least... my good old buddy Kim Kitsuragi's got my back. And you have a friendly necktie. I a... I don't like him. I'm gonna be real. He's he he seems kind of a, a little bit too horny on man. Um, oh. I, I mean, he's really giving it his all. Um. <sighs> I love when my necktie is horny. Although I am a martial artist, my entire body is one big gun. Oh, God. Uh, Kim, what you packing? It's a single shot kill A9. An armistice, to be precise. That's probably not what I have. Say it's a kill uh, 9mm armistice. Armistice? What, is he a fucking... Clearly he doesn't have his villier anymore. Yeah, this might not be, This isn't the most uh, t talky uh, stream of Afraid Solo, so feel free to okay. comment it out. It's just, uh, this game's such a fucking vibe, and I am just constantly just fully getting lost in the sauce looking at it. And this is really fully... Streaming this is just an excuse for me to, like, focus on playing the game and not do anything else in the background. Yeah. Dear God, he lost his gun! Oh, oh my, I can't! <laughs> I don't like my coworkers very this much. They're really, really a long <laughs> matter. Mac can face a giant of cocoa nude by himself, but this go here and him piss his pants. <laughs> oh, I, I can't fuck. He lost it. I don't want to fuck. I, I, I can't, can't fuck. Not his wiener. Well, maybe he lost oh, it. Oh, I'm not going to. Yeah. D yeah. Good. D d don't. Ask him. Sergeant Person, I was wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass. And so on. That will get this all right. <laughs> oh. I mean. <laughs> oh. That's a good. That's a good option. <laughs> this is. Yeah. <laughs> I, also, I do also like that he says <laughs> wiener. <laughs> Where's his wiener? What's he saying? <laughs> Share with the class. He. Uh, so he said he should have made your mother. The prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Oh, some <laughs> <laughs> My fucking god. Sure, vanilla waffles were the only thing he Thank ate? Thank you, Chester. Shut oh up, god. Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Tell him to apologize right now. <laughs> Sergeant Orson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Over. It's just, it's just banter, man. He says he's sorry and didn't mean nothing by it. Okay. Tell him. Yeah. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. These are some of the Frenchest men I've ever met. Here. Yeah. Have is you seen much France, about this game? Or is this just French cops? This is um. Single thing. This is Ravachal. Um, it's uh, a fictional. I don't know if it's supposed to be an actual Earth Europe. Um, it's 1951, I think. It is post disco, and the cars look like this. So, it, oh, it's oh. all up in the air, right? I don't to find this goddamn badge and gun. It's the only thing that matters here. Thank you, Jean Vigimar. Satellite officer. Vi I'm on it. Oh, I'm on it. Oh, God, I. Ah. <laughs> officer, do you need further assistance? Over. I'm in dire need of financial assistance. Thanks for, I hear you. I don't have the authority <laughs> to answer your request, but. What does he want now? He's asking for money. 
Is he fucking kidding? <laughs> I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Right. Um, that's a negative on the additional sound, sir. Over. I'm not gonna fight anything this else, sir. Over. Thank you, Jules. Over, uh, ten, ten. Over and out. Oh. 18 kilometers to the south in the 41st Precinct's relay booth. A small crowd has gathered around communication officer Jules Old Boy Pudier. Around a dozen cops. The small room is filled with cigarette smoke, a buzz with laughter when Officer Judith Minow enters. Her left arm is in bandages and her hair trimmed short. What is going on here? Did something happen? <laughs> so yeah. The, like, I... I don't know who or what you have to be to like, act oh, I'll put the uh, Discord names up on screen, to come up with the fucking mm -hmm. core concept for this goddamn game. But like, your skills being your like, internal dialogue, and like, you like, having a palaver with them, and them just kind of chiming in whenever they like, and that being a key part of the dialogue, is some of the most inspired shit I've literally ever seen. Are they like, a uh, like, actually just your conscious or are they like is this guy like possessed or some shit i don't know i have no idea um i've played eight hours of this game total um i've just played like oh the God. first kind of like two games or two uh hours in uh two days christ uh in game what happened is my partner made contact it's not good he's lost his bed <clears throat> and his high arm he seemed confused delirious even man the torso torson is finger fucking his fist oh. laughing hoarsely and apparently telling some dirty story to his partner, Chester McLean. Put a fucking the shirt on, man. <laughs> yeah, Mullen was fucked, all right. Sounded fucking drunk to me. Yeah, Max right. This was some gnarly shit there. I mean, before he started begging for money, it was... Enough! None of this is funny. Timing. It's beautiful. It's sad. That's what it is. He's a cop. He's one of us, goddamn this. We must help him. Who is, who is Judith mm. Menor? Yeah? Mm -hmm. How do you fucking plan to do that, huh? Get him off the drink? Go jogging with him in the morning and get him on carrot juice? He's a lost man. I just know we I mean... can't give up on him when he's at his weakest. He wouldn't. Mac, man the door. You know what he told me? I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. Yeah, again, this is a very heavy and sad game, words. everybody. <laughs> like, just, uh, come, come into is this. Is this, like, hmm? a car phone, or is this just, like, a memory? I think, so this is uh, my ability, which is called um, Espirit de Corp, which is, like, your kind of connection to the police um, com community, like, giving hmm. us, the player, this scene. I don't know how much our actual players, like, the characters aware of this. This hmm. shit does not leave this room. Not a word of this to the captain, or anyone else. We'll give him a couple of days to pull his shit together. I guess I can hold up the report for a few days. Good. Okay, everybody. Nothing but a prank call here. We all got our laughs. Now get back to work. Far north, on the other side of the motorway, the officer quietly hunches with his hand in the motor carriage. I'm good. This has been heavy enough for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. look at a corpse again. So, who do you think killed this guy and how? I mean, I think we uh, know how. <laughs> me and I put him with a sponge. Why'd you, why'd you go and do that? Uh, I thought he was hungry. You, you flicked him with a sponge? Yeah. I mean, he looks pretty hungry. Oh! <laughs> there, he still uh -oh. is. I don't think that's a sponge. Right through you, with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what kind of rope it is? That could be a big hint. Uh, I mean, I do, because I've played this part of the game before. Mm. Active decay. It took it to throw up, officer. No one is judging. I already did. He's about to blow. Cops gonna blow, oh, Kuno. Oh. Do you think I can make this a uh, 17% chance? Uh, I believe you. I believe in you. The ammonia only makes it worse. <laughs> Fuck. The combination forces <laughs> tears out of your guts. The second time, not so much. When the vomiting is done, I'm gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna creep. Oh no. 
Kim is everything. Oh, oh that bad sounds. That was a juicy noise. Um. I need to get a bandana for my face. Every single person no, who's come on the stream so far that like knows Disco Elysium is, has fully agreed that Kim Kitsuragi is th the th not the throat goat, but is simply the goat. Oh. Uh, is that is that her in the bottom left? Like that's that's this is my this is my best friend and homie Kim Kitsuragi. He is uh, oh the guy based. No, that this is Kuno. That's Kuno S. Um, yeah. Uh, Mm hmm no i said cream i said cream oh but yes every yes many people come to my scream haha ha, so much the weight is reassuring like a crenel on a solid fortification crenel it's crenel yeah oh, oh christ your, thank you salt last night how was my what how was your salt last night um e either acidic or basic whichever ones i mean i guess salt's kind of neither right uh very good point um uh th whatever the chat i don't have it open thank you burger man 92 i'm gonna put up a things uh, discord thing yeah i am joined by uh twitch.tv slash solosod live on this one um good stream this god stream get over lay um but i'll put this up so people can actually fucking see um who is speaking voice I'm actually part of the game no way <laughs> yeah you're you're we'll you're, you're you're my uh perceptualization mm-hmm Crazy. Uh, are we in betrayal zone right now? Uh, yes. Yeah, fire. Uh, the betrayal zone. The betrayal zone. I can't. I I live in this fucking country my entire life, and I still can't do a decent French accent. I can't, but I did French immersion for most of elementary. Really? But I've forgotten French, so. <laughs> yeah. What 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 role do you fill in the game, Solo? Um. Comedic relief. I like slip in a puddle of mud and then everyone. Laughs. You're like Donkey from Shrek. Yeah. Nice. I say. Uh, when I get home, I strong I'm making strong pancakes. Inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. <laughs> I don't want to be a cop. Well. <laughs> um. I think I want to. This is bullshit. Okay. You've said it. You needed to see it. And now that you have, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, yeah. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, <laughs> I get this. I get this dialogue it. in my head Give every it half day. An hour. <laughs> get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Why is it so Active bad? Decay. Mm. He's about to blow the yes, thank you, Kuno S. Thank you. Hey. Uh -oh. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. She means it. The fear is real. Don't know. I want to ask questions, but not take it a step closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Oh my god. Yeah, no, Kuno's a this little this little British boy. He's he's on drugs right now. Um he's Kuno's thing. Um Child, converse with me. <laughs> the case was the case they gave me. I like her hat. Right in the dick, Kuno. Give him right in the dick. Is, is he is he throwing rocks at the corpse? He's throwing rocks at this corpse. Yes. Oh my god. Um. So I believe there's a I believe there is a, a bandana that I must find. But also we can just uh, ask what's going on in this fucking town. Welcome to Revishal. Or Mia. It's got a French name. It's or it's got the town where it has a name. I gotta pay for damages. I gotta inspect the victim's body. Um. Oh, volumetric shit compressor. Uh, oh yeah, cause I'm trying to get my shit together. So I can, in, like, internalize these thoughts and, like, work on them for a while. So right now I'm trying to figure out what happened to this one disco singer. Okay. Um, but volumetric shit compressor, I'm going to internalize that there. Um, and this is the uh, concept of being homeless and also being a cop. Oh Yakuta God. seems like a nice, respecting member of society, which I appreciate about the boy. Um, oh, oh, I thought it said volumetric shit disturber for a second. <laughs> That's what they call me on the street. That's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any books? This book has a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked mm. dame on its cover. Nice. Woo. All the cover stands not very much in surrounded by flames. That's... No, that's not DOS. Mail for me? 
This post Lavantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized. With Thank you very much, Burgerman92, for the follow. We're just getting so close to 100. Uh, but thanks for dropping it. I appreciate it. Um, good mail delivery box. Pat the box. Or fuck you, mail delivery box. Kick the box. Definitely. That's a good looking box. <laughs> it's my friend. Oh my god. It's my favorite new Twitter. Can you the pet box the box? Seems happy. Let's go! <laughs> Eat shit, pig. Fucked by the coon. And Saint G with a crown have been scribbled on it. Jenny is a whore. Oh, that's a germa. Best <laughs> yeah. Also. All. Um. <laughs> Being there. Post levatione. Mail collection box. Being there. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankfully, even. So do you. You shudder. Then you swallow. This, um... And then suddenly, suddenly you spit you up mail. Over all the <laughs> other graffitos, someone has, using the tip of a very sharp knife, <laughs> and, and then you say, FUCK YOU! <laughs> well, that's my friend done. Um... This is the pacifist run where you make friends with all the mailboxes and then they help you at the end of the game. The fuck does Kuno know? Um... Goods from Lori haphazardly littered the surroundings. Interesting. Oh, fuck, what a cool statue. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, like the. Oh, I fuck. Wanna, like, hey, touch everybody, that. real quick, fuck this guy. Is he gonna say Welcome a slur? Uh, why are you dressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Revachol me. <laughs> my grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture. While your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 Let's years ago. Let's fucking go, Kim Kitsuragi. <laughs> Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell him. You tell I mean, I'm just gonna be uh, cool and silent. It's men like yeah. you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post war limbo. What's going on? <laughs> I have no idea what's going what's on. What's all this then? Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. <laughs> His name is racist lorry driver. <laughs> this is the most <laughs> French man. This, did it say that? Yeah, this is the most French man I've oh ever my God. seen. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise Ooh. you to remember that. Ooh. You have failed the lorry. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Fucking ache him. <laughs> um. You do make a cute couple. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> The lieutenant At the end, do you get to kiss him? I have, oh god, I hope. Are you comments. kidding me? Not so, we have a couple questions. Whatever you say. Officer. Oh, <laughs> uh, got a smoke? No. Nope. DLC, you get to bop him in the head. He's got a smoke right there, in his fucking hand. <laughs> oh my god. Snatch that shit out of his fat fingers. Holy shit. You need to have to listen <laughs> to his This garbage. is, yeah. I mean, uh, then I'm gonna need the one that you're smoking. Can't have it. This is... But I really need it! <laughs> uh, that's too bad. It's all done for. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's, uh, I'm... I can never remember that actor's name. Sorry, I can't help. What do you, what do you, oh, Link, thank you. Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but... Uh, cargo! workers are on strike, so, uh... It's a sit and wait on your ass situation. How long has this been going on then? <laughs> the strike? Oh, they've been at it for a while. <laughs> a month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. What kind of cargo are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Nice. <laughs> China, <laughs> he's given you the runaround. Let's be honest. You were bested. Fuck. Well... I, fuck, fuck you! Wait, read his books. Uh, I don't know if this is this man's books. What we got? 
a popular music mag. Yo, jump jams. The glossy magazine must be able to put man. This issue has a top 10 list. Oh, no, they're much chunkier than you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, fuck, I didn't mean to think. I meant to think. Hmm. Something to do behind Lieutenant Katsurati's back? Sneak out after he's gone to sleep. If I want to do some crying. <laughs> uh oh. Hope it's loading properly. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Nice. Well. Oh. Oh. Uh, we here. Oh, it's back. Okay. Whew. You know, Rose is. He doesn't own them. Two lips, two. Yellow world? You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, <laughs> except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. I did not have enough money. Um, can I buy Welcome a face to mask Frit. here? I don't Feel free get... to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. Thank you, ma'am. What's that magazine she's reading? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> what magazine are you reading? <laughs> you mean this? This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Oh, <laughs> very futuristic. Very futuristic. Yeah. She pops her raspberry flavored bubblegum and nods. Good hat. I don't even know what's raspberry flavored. I don't want to know. I was going to say, I really don't like that. The yeah. lieutenant frowns at you before turning to the clerk with an apologetic half smile. I have some questions for you, ma'am. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... I like this person's voice. Can you tell me anything about this reality we're in? <laughs> oh wait, me and Kim are really, um... <laughs> They're making out! Oh my god, we're right we are, we are tonguing in front of this lady. <laughs> um... A very futuristic... Can you tell me anything about this dead body? And then body? you proceed to, make <laughs> to make out with my good friend Kim. Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but... I haven't seen it, so... Well, what do you think happens? Um, I don't know. Money to worry. <laughs> she just told you. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Reality? You mean, <laughs> what reality? Economic reality, or...? She is like a student unexpectedly called upon by a teacher. Can she answer the classroom question? Tell me about oh the physical reality. I don't know. What about it? <laughs> no, I'm not, oh, this is a waste yeah. of time. She is like I thought she was wearing a full chest dress hat at first. Oh, no, I fucking, don't know. I won't bother you with what about it. Oh. Sorry. Bye! Um, oh, there's a place you can... Can you not recycle... Oh, you can maybe do that outside. I think there's a bin where you can recycle bottles for money. Because mm. I need to pay off like a hundred dollar uh, debt for damages at the uh, oh my ca at the fucking cafeteria slash hotel I'm staying at. And you need a little raincoat in case it rains. Yeah, I don't want it to be wet. Pills? Oh, it's magnesium. Uh... Ooh, a garbage can. We've always probably stored fuel here. Oh. Now they store booze. Do I want to talk to these men? Do I want to steal this car? Huh. Or, uh, really fucking... That's, that's sick. I love, I, really the, like that. I love the car designs in this. They're fucking amazing. Um, these weird little fucking jalopies. That's a really good word. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island, oh my God. pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air, with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip oh the Third, the squanderer, the greatest <laughs> what of a the title for a king. of Revachon, son of Philip the Second, the opulent, Father of Philip the Fourth. Wow. The insane. Whoa. Is that me? Not a good track record of mental health in that family. Who killed this? I believe. Who killed this? Who killed this? <laughs> what did this king do? Even by the standards oh! of the Philip kings, old sumptuous Philip is known <laughs> for his profligacy. What does that mean? <laughs> well, he blew through the whole national treasury. 
starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachon. Beautiful. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. Yeah, fucking uh, Smugbot that hopped on stream last night was saying that the, uh, like, the kind of, like, words and story master for this game was working on this setting for, like, seven to ten years, I think. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I have other questions. Philip III's ludicrous bronze likeness looks defiantly up into the sky. Incredible. Um, how are we doing concept relation style? Ooh, I'm almost got my- I almost have my shit together. And then I can, um... Oh, oh, my, oh my god, I thought that was a scorpion. I love this. The small, wrinkled I love woman the pale driver. does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands, and there is a warm smile on her face. Oh, man. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she <laughs> could give you comfort and shelter. Grandma? Some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... Grandma? Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is gray like lead. No, this one is a monster in disguise. What? What the fuck? <laughs> is the half light supposed to be like intrusive thoughts? I it's what oh god, what is it what is it called? Half light is uh let the body take control control, threaten people. Um, oh my god. Uh, half light is your flight or flight response. It enables you to sense the way situations are about to turn and injects palpable fear into your heart. Yeah, wow. Mm. Half-Light makes you ultra-tuned to the world. It is perpetual fear of your own shadow, of someone else's name or scent. You'll be ready always to pounce or physically interrogate passengers by, passers by. At low levels, however, you'll find your survival instinct is lacking and your methods limp-wristed. Those who respect violence will not respect you. Some of these photos are haunting. Like, authority I hate. Like... And like <laughs> authority it's urges you to a certain dominance. He is a bit of a he is very kissable. I think conceptualization is my favorite one. I think reaction like spoon is really scary. Reaction spoon? Speed. Reaction speed. <gasps> it looks like it looks like the um uh what's that Aphex twin video or uh music song? <laughs> uh know. um Rubber Johnny. I'll believe it. This one is beautiful. Don't look it up on stream. Really scary video. Rubber Johnny? Nice. Yeah, it's a it's a Aphex. Um, Twin music video? Horrifying. I'd like to ask some questions, ma'am. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach I'm her. I'm not gonna snap my fingers in front of her face. Slimy ran an authority build and enjoyed it. See, I like playing a weird, kind of dreamy figure floating through these people's lives. Mm. Ooh, what's this little circle? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Rad. It's, it's chemicals made out of ground up human, I guess. Oh no. Soil and green. Ruins full of snow. No lives around. Raisins full of snow. Yeah. Do you know how uh, soil and green tastes? Uh, no. <laughs> it varies from person to person. Ugh. <laughs> 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 hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, big man. <laughs> Right to don't work. don't cross a picket line, bro. This guy's this is a big this is a big man. Oh my God. Fuck <laughs> this guy. Santa? <laughs> oh my God, it's Santa! Santa's a fucking scab, man. He doesn't respect union rights. Um, you here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Why should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. I'm thinking... Okay, you know, to be fair, the union in this town is a little bit cringe. Um, I'm yeah. thinking Good. no. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! They took her jazz. Right to... Besides... I feel like I don't have a horse in this game. Have... Dog in this game? Dog in this fight. Talking cops and strike breakers together. Oof. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Um, oh, this guy's head makes me just think of Poochie. Like his hair looks very Poochie-esque. He's very kissable. <laughs> he does have like, it looks like he was sucking on shot glass. He's got very. <laughs> He's, he lips. was doing. He was doing the like. Is it the Kim K challenge? Um, we're gonna say I got some questions for ya. Maybe you should ask 
them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! Big man. We Santa have man. families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Oh, they said, they said he called him Scott. Bro, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, what exactly is your role here? We were promised work. We'd be in there, working. I'm not sure what this building is. Like, I, think it's, I don't know if it's like a dock or like a foundry or something. Are you unable to breach the entrance? The main gate's locked. It would take heavy ordnance to bust it open. I try to get in through the secretary's office. Door's locked. The guard's blocking the way to the access panel. And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer. Or whatever he is. <laughs> Have you considered storming this building? Why don't you oh God. go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. All that he's saying this wall, like pumping his fist in the air and doing yeah. good points. It would be yeah. better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. No! They will give up the <laughs> Better for the neighborhood. Or Shut get him. <laughs> Keep the button unguarded. Then we charge. <clears throat> I want to get into the harbor too. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. Now about that Don't murder. To meet that fat boss. <laughs> I know nothing about a murder. The mention Whoa. of the killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenseness through him. Interesting. <laughs> Why so tense, buddy? What are you talking about? I'm not tense. Yes. I'm not tense. tense. You're tense. And dangerous. Somewhere below it all. What do you mean below it all? Look at him. Yeah, I get. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere, so somewhere it all. Right. Below his work. shirt. It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up. Open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. I, I, I don't but myself you know, really want to. Picking a side in this just yet. Yeah. <laughs> Let us work. Uh, I'm just gonna leave now. The guy up at the top of the yellow jacket, I really like that jacket. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Bizarre scientific news from so the official west today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the ship's singularity lasts. Everybody, I finally got my shit together. It only took uh, it only took almost a year of streaming, but um, I figured it out. Um, solution. Yeah. So my problem is that uh, your shit is apart, and it's rather unbecoming of a cop and a human being. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um. So, map. Do you know who the victim is, or no? We don't know yet. Um, all I know is there is a mysterious man with um, a doughy, white, slug-like tongue in his mouth. So oh. He's been hanging there. He's been up there for like seven days. Um, oh my god. And I got here three days ago and I've not done anything yet. I, you only play one day, but like the first thing you uh, are told is that, yeah, you've been here for three days, man. And you still haven't taken the god. fucking body down from the tree. There he still is, looking right through you I got my shit with together, his white man. eyes the you body below it. is entirely dedicated to that <clears throat> corpse smell emitting it is all as you breathe in the odor comes <gasps> over you yeah. it's a smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to ring itself empty with your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting you stand in it the man before you is naked but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots his skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins, and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. Mm. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above cargo appears belt. industrial in mm. strength. Mm. Squint and take mm. a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. Why the fuck am I squinting? <laughs> How should I know why you are squinting, officer? 
Oh. You are trying to assess lividity. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> the monster comes back into focus. An explosion. Oh my God, I thought I was about to say back to life. <laughs> oh! Veins. Help! His stomach appears pregnant <laughs> with something. Oh! Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. Nice. So, what uh -huh. do you think? I think he's dead. Is coming out of him. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud now that's... below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping oh, into wow. it. Yeah. Drop oh. by drop. He's really fully stanced up. Oh, it is kind of like a, not like a Yakuza tattoo, but it's an interesting tattoo on his uh, chest there. Yeah. I haven't really fully paid attention to it yet. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion. He's got these um, hefty uh, industrial boots. The fuck he's cool saying? Looking. Talking about shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Um but yeah, we got. Um <laughs> oh. <sighs> hmm. So low <laughs> hmm. I mean to be fair, there's I have three viewers right now. One, two, three. I want Kim to like and respect me. Malicious laughter erupts in the yard. <laughs> Sounds like seagulls. <laughs> Big head, he's a nice. <gasps> the lieutenant's face is made of stone. What do you think, Kim? I think he was upright immediately after death. Blood has gathered in his hands. <laughs> I thought he said handsome feet. And his neck. <laughs> He points at the fattened chin. It's just a really good, uh, that's just a good, uh, tweet in my drafts. The noose acted like a tourniquet, <laughs> keeping the blood in his head. The oh. hypostasis here is in tune with the hanging. That's what I think. He was strangled by someone. Yes, there's always a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. But he has been beaten the shit up. With. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little... Yeah, story. Kuno. Stop talking wow. in riddles, coin slot. Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh, fuck off, oh, Kuno. No. He means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal-like. <clears throat> but I there think is no dead. breath to catch. Only the cadaver boots. filling the air and your nostrils. I shall. He slowly he rotates boots? for you. I'm gonna wear these composing. boots. They're probably pretty slimy. They're cool looking. I like them. The material I like those boots. appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. Incredible. A fine yes. array of interlocking plates covers them. Like it's just the best flavor text I've read in in my yeah. life. Delicate and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you. Out of place somehow. It's kind of alien. These no are way. clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. These aren't boots, are they? They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. <laughs> Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. So cool. Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. Whoa. This is where the make would be. Under the heel. Fair weather. Fairweather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's V3 using ammo. <gasps> Pull the boot off. This is advanced stuff. And put it on. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Let's wait till the body's on the ground. The sabotons yeah. dangle <laughs> off the man's decaying form. Ageless and, and synthetic. Ah. Uh, I like that he's saying that. Whoa. Yeah, because it's like him describing himself to you by yeah. simply existing. Um, knock on the boot. A small bell-like sound fills the air, Whoa. like tapping on the side it's of just, a porcelain I, cup. I'm just on the edge of my seat the entire time. It's so, it's just, it carries you along so beautifully. Suddenly, your biceps coil up. Your Whoa. elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. Your hurt. fist connects to the boot with the same ding. The Whoa. sound does not appear to get louder. Wow. Did you Take hear these that? boots. A click? <laughs> yeah, like dice rolling, weird. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally from plate <sighs> to plate. 
When the plates connect, there's a click. That's the sound you heard. That's so fucking cool. See these cool. lines? Faint, organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide like into smaller plates. It's like a ceramic carapace. Until God. there are hundreds of them altogether. Like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic. Influenced by highly resistant wood materials. Whoa. Like lignum vitae and ebony grabs. What does this remind me of? If trees were made of porcelain, this is mm. where the oh. <laughs> The smooth, glossy surface fractures into ever more intricate interconnections. I'm gonna... Peaking on the right sabaton, oh. where you notice. Incredible. The whirls are in the shape of a letter and number combination. E50, 100, 1000. <laughs> There's a serial number on the, on the right sabaton. Good. Can you read it to me? I really do wish there was just an option to read the wrong serial number. <laughs> we have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. The cadaver Imagine slowly twists on the cargo belt. Like His torso you, you covered in tattoos your, um, and extremities. Like a kickboxer and you've got these boots that make it so you don't take any, any harm from kicking. Fuck. It's kind of like Deku's uh, support item that he made for his feet. Or like the Black Panther armor. <clears throat> All pretty based. Also, congratulations, Smogbot, on your 24 hours of being a follower of Measly Meatloaf. I will continue Ooh. updating as we go along. <laughs> um, let's look at the tattoos, bro. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they Whoa. intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration Man. is highest around his heart. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be marked by? Alcohol and heartbreak. Oh. <laughs> Your fist clenches suddenly. It will be riddled oh. with disco. <laughs> Decay is creeping on the tattoo. Already, most of the canvas that's holding it has darkened. Now, it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. What do you think it is, Me Solo? You. Map of the Night Sky, microelectronics system. system. I have only a cursive knowledge of the science of cybernetics. I would not know if it were. But it's not quite complex enough, <laughs> is it? <laughs> like, Kim's like, I don't know, but probably not. <laughs> I agree. <gasps> oh my god. I thought he was... He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls aluminium. it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. I'm not gonna fuck a small with lens appears. Some sort of camera. I'm not gonna fuck with the master. Shit, Kuno! What the <laughs> fuck? Fuck off, Kuno S! An instant color camera. Whoa. Damn. Pulls out two metal capped ampules and clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot shines there. I have only two ampules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. Oh, it's like really coming down the oh, fucking snow little now. Little bastard gonna throw a rock at him? A sound. A shrill oh. flash. Oh my oh god. god. Of a small ampule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. Just fucking stunning. In case we need it. Still really like those boots. Cool machine. <laughs> yes. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Fuck yeah, kill. Uh, <laughs> it contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We need to show it around. Mm. Oh! I have a feeling this has to go to the grandma. Here, a souvenir. Don't lose it. Shit, Grandma. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute, and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interactable <coughs> in the inventory. He winks at you. Oh, I can't open my inventory right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna look from the eyes. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding Ooh. comically from their sockets. <laughs> there is no one home, just sub aquatic terrors there. there. 
Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Who are you? The corpse is dead Fuck. silent. You have no idea why you just said that. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. The corpse looks right through you as you... The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. I mean, I gotta know. <laughs> Vermilion, in I've yellow seen. letters, oh. along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for Vermilion Golden Spirits lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. Mm. Like using the fact that you are helplessly addicted to alcohol and cigarettes <laughs> to your benefit, but like making you notice things more keenly. Extremely. What kind of rope is this? Industrial strength. You can use for tying cargo to lorries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like in a harbor? Can't go with anything other than a harbor. Yes, it looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying no attention to not incriminating themselves. The brief suggested as much, politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? No, they might have forgotten to brief me. <laughs> then you should ask me the first moment we <clears throat> Uh, or some uh, dark work. Or, oh, that's already grayed out. Um, I think you gave me, I got him up there. The news is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splinter <laughs> yeah. either. Did you? Mm. I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the bell to close the buckle. Again, I'm sorry. This is not the most uh, uh, dialogue, or not the most uh, narrative-heavy stream, folks. Again, I just uh, this dialogue is like I would feel like a criminal talking over it any more than I already am. I'm um, so intrigued. They sure wanted to stay up there. The polyester seems strong. It's not merely polyester; it's still reinforced. See these lines? This is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than twenty strands. This makes getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. Uh, the cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, <laughs> limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. So do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's down. We've been there. Uh... So am I. Uh, so, uh, right, I see you can go perch for the belt. Why do you say so am I? <laughs> the cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. Seems like a lot of hassle to get the dude down. <laughs> um, the victim's tattoos, run the numbers in the victim's armor, ask him to tell you what... Uh, well, I just looked at chat. Yeah. No, it's from a while ago, Slimy, but I'm glad that you enjoy Rubber Johnny. Do you agree that that, that one little thing looks just like him? Uh, do you want to pull up, pull up whatever it was? It was um, reaction speed. Uh, reaction speed. Yeah. That's it's the head shape. It looks. I'll I'll show you I'll show you a a photo of Rubber Johnny just so you don't have to look at the. Yeah, I'm upping my Inland Empire. Um, let's have another look, look at him. I'll see if I can ask him again. Hmm. Tell me who you are, dead man. Oh, um, where have you gone? Into the wild pile yonder. And where's that? In the past, way out in the west. But who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. I don't see anything funny about you. There is nothing funny about jokes either. <sighs> Who were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. <laughs> Takes one to know one. I have, uh... Nothing. First of all, rude. Uh, second of all, I have another question for you. <clears throat> Go ahead, Copa. What is happening? What do you mean? 
rude. Fuck. Fuck. Last night I went out for a, a, a long walk and I did not uh, confirm th that I had gotten home to my mother. Um, so she knocked on my door uh, kind of late at night and like opened it up and I just happened to be right behind the door and she looked at me dead in the eyes and she said, are you back yet? And I was really um, terrified um, for my own kind of brain because I didn't know what that meant in that moment because it was very late. Um, so that's kind of what I'm experiencing here now. Uh, I'm talking to you, Mr. Hankman. <laughs> it's the power of your... Hmm. And what would that sound like, uh, Solo? What's what? Uh, what would the black power... and frothy liquid starting to bubbling from his lips? Well, One second. Yeah, please. Thank um... you. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> Imagination. <laughs> oh, we could have used our imaginations for that. Yeah, man! Don't be so crazy. Oh my god. Dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. Fuck. Okay. He loves uh, those. Why do I love questions so much? Because I hate you. You stink in your pores. <laughs> You're stinky. Ah. Oh. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give me a comical amount of questions. Come well, after this right interaction, up. I have sent you. Rooney, Rooney. I beg your pardon, Solo. This is getting up. After this interaction, now. I've sent you a photo of some fan art of Rubber Johnny, if you'd like to take a look. Excellent. Um, can you ask me a question? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? What? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes. Stand in here. Why are you investigating my murder? It'll lead to something indescribable, unforeseen, miraculous. <sighs> something is on its way. Something hidden. Mm. It's coming. A miracle from the northwest, and it's almost here. You can feel it in the air, on your hands. The cold spring air smoothing them over. Who killed you? Love did me in Provocopo. It was love all along. And why do I feel mm. like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have... Yeah, fair cop. Enough, mate. Come back later, Copo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. Mm. If possible, also, see me in your dream. Ooh. We, let's get him down from this tree. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, shoot him down. I mean, like, we could just shoot him down. Yeah! Bang bang time, pig! Shoot his head off! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, shoot the, shoot, the, shoot the belt. It absolutely will not, officer. That's not how physics work. It will maybe cut one thread loose. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain the Kuno with some Stop shit. it, I... Stop calling yourself the Kuno. The Kuno. The one and only. Will miss Kuno. Are they, like, related? We don't know. Kuno and Kuno S. They're pretty cagey about who and what they are. Um, it's like Kim Chu's. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight firearm. Oh. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. Oh. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. He's gonna fucking miss! The kid's voice is drowned <gasps> in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. <clears throat> a cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. <laughs> He feels bad about it. About his eyes, mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Fucking idiot! Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? Oh my god. Kuno, mean. I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we <coughs> took him down with all the system. <clears throat> Let me try. It's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks. Oh my Go god. Ahead. I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. <laughs> I only have one gun! <laughs> this is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Yeah, take it, you fucking 
fucking banani boyka. Take oh it god. and shoot oh yourself my... in the mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel the weight first. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly is light. You? Your fingers fit right through oh, no. the guard. He's talking. Instinctively resting <laughs> on the trigger. No, it shouldn't instinctively rest on the tri bad trigger discipline. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth. <laughs> in it's a, such an interesting little relationship that these two kids yeah. have. Kuno is silent. Aggression gathers in here. Oh my god, I thought that said, I thought I was going to say point the gun at Kuno. To break your finger. The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? At least Whoa. you won't miss. <laughs> oh my god. Your Close field your of head. view yeah. narrows. The I'm not going to point the gun at Kuno S. Becoming fact. entirely two-dimensional. Oh. Wait, that was an option? That I didn't even see that. That was an Glimmers. option. Oh my god. The moonlight as the corpse Threaten a child slowly game. rotates. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? <gasps> Maybe you should shoot her. <laughs> a plume of smoke erupts from the barrel. Your hand goes numb from the explosion. I think I hit the body. With your still ring, <laughs> yeah. And lower the weapon. To... You missed the belt, but hit the corpse strictly. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking cry! I knew it. What a molko! Start <sighs> crying. <laughs> Oh no. It feels dry. Nothing comes out of you as you stretch and bend your face into a crying shape. <laughs> You're too furious to cry, apparently. I'm not gonna throw Kim's gun. That would be disrespectful. Yeah. The lieutenant watches you jerk some tears. Your shoulders shaking and your eyes dry. The gun begins to slip from your fingers. So grim. <laughs> Kuno S. Oh my god. The lieutenant <clears throat> gently picks his gun from your hand and holsters yeah, it. Yeah, thanks, Kim. We still need kiss to get him down somehow. But how? <laughs> the bad way. The way I didn't want us to. <sighs> By asking the harbor for help. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. Let's get to it then. First time I played this, I was able to get him down um, using the gun. I'm pretty sure I the probably gun? shot the uh, branch, not the belt. Um... um what? Uh, uh oh. C confirm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Um, so let's see what we have in our notebook right now. Um, well, let's, uh, let's call in that serial number because that was, in fact, pretty interesting. Um, yeah. and that would tell us a little bit more about who this fucker is. Um,. So it's what is a, the blue plus? Is that morale? The blue plus? Yeah, that, this is morale and this is health. Um, oh, okay. And you have like charges to refill it um, occasionally. Mm. Um, so yeah, Inside, I want to find out about these interesting levers, boots. A radio microphone, a pull out God, a and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. This is precinct fifty-seven. How may I assist you? Mm. Oh yeah, the uh, Sylvie. Of course. What is your number, officer? God, can you see this number? Yes. Hold on. Her number is O O five. One nine four four two nine eight. Thank you, Kim. Hold on, officer. I'm not calling my precinct. I don't want to talk to them. Oh. They made a little face. Two little faces. Huh? The dot dot dots in the quotes makes the Oh my god! Three little faces. We're gonna wait patiently. Lieutenant Kitsuragi slowly begins to tap a little rhythm with his right foot. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, many little faces. I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. We got her. Yes, hello? Mm. Fuck it, yeah, sure. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? Well... You can hear resentment in her tone. She's not yeah, that's, to be it, you it's, it's all seems fair that they don't like me, right? There is no she resentment like in her tone. She wants you to ask I her like out. Her chemistry. Um, no question about it. Because uh, uh, apparently I got very, very drunk at Whirling and Rags, really fucked up with the place over the last three mm. days, and she was the bartender there. Mm. Um, um, have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer. No, I. The law. I need to 
find it. Oh, no, I haven't. Sorry. Um, was it you who called the police? No, not me. <laughs> Didn't the corpse bother you? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the union already knew about the corpse. What does the union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The union would get angry. You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them hmm. and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Pretty safe, pretty safe and cool and chill place. Garbage. I mean, to be fair. <sighs> Fuck off, authority. Um, chill, little guy. Uh, looks like there's. Oh, I missed my thing. Tell me, where is the corpse? No, that's that's rude. Um, you can tell me else you could tell me about. I don't know what to tell you, officer. I didn't call you because I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. With the Union. Mm. I'm sorry about that. Do you know who made the call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones that's... around here. Copper thieves take the wires. That's fascinating. That's... <sighs> people don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Like, just little, beautiful little world-building details like that. Like, justifiable um, lack of communication is... That's just uh, icing. Yeah, go on. Um... You get your job at Whirling Rags? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm... Not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Maybe, I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. And, like, good for her. She deserves it. Well, thank you, Sylvie. Um, I mean, have you seen my gun? Please, no. Not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun, detective. Oh, my God. You were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating, <sighs> and... Sounds like it's going to be bad. Do you really want to know? What did I do? You were waving it around in everyone's face begging them to describe it. You said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. It, it got pretty graphic. This is, uh, I, feel, I just feel so bad for what I wrought on these people already. Some poor sod was trying to eat his pudding while you were screaming, spit flying, imitating the mercy shot right next to him. Spat some in his food. I don't think he touched it after. People tried to back away from you, or even slip out of the door. But you screamed. I am the goddamned law, and you have to listen to me. You are all suspects in a murder investigation. But what happened to my guy? No idea. A bit of a POS, all maybe? I know is next to hmm? waiting around money instead. Is he this? Is this guy like a POS? I I I mean, he's he was a violent. Uh, drunk that uh, tore a very large hole in the wall, apparently. Um, so he seems mm. like a bit of a POS. Um, mm. But he also seems like a pretty damaged guy. Not that that uh, necessarily uh, excuses uh, shitty actions. Um, Does he have it tattooed on his chest? <sighs> I believe I, uh, big bucks cannot lie and guns can't buy money, but money can always buy guns. It almost looked like you pawned it. But believe me, I did not ask. He, he piece of shit. Um, I think I have everything I need. Thank you, Sylvie. I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Why? I'm gonna roll an empathy. <laughs> this guy's an empath. Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags when she was still working there. I'm not mad, it's just... You were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then <laughs> the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. What skewer thing? The stuffed bird. The great skewer. You threw it against the wall while oh my God. screaming, fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. That's not... That's kind of cringe. Not gonna lie, I, I... I... I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. I should talk to that bird. I should go talk to that bird. Um... <gasps> oh, God. Uh... Maybe... Perhaps not. Maybe the skewer deserved to be said, fuck that bird, too. This sounds like me alright. I just googled like a squirt and though. they're violent. A lot of birds are violent, I'm afraid. Um, thank you for talking to me. Take care. 
Yes, obviously. Oh, that's not you were well. the worst client I've ever seen. <laughs> and I have seen so many assholes. This poor this fucking place. lady just trying to do her job. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for <laughs> two months. But you. What do I do? Well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I I hate it now. Which song? We Go On by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. Sorry. The hell with that song. <laughs> then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant, and I don't want to know. <sighs> Dealing with the aftermath of just being this monster. And then you scream something about how you're a piece of shit human being, and why does anyone even let you work as a policeman? That you fire yourself, but you can't even do that. <laughs> That's not so bad. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, I had to deal with your toilet. Oh my god. The one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. Really hope Kim can't hear this. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, <laughs> threatening to kill yourself. Jeez, oh my god. I, oh. The ones I had to rinse out of your toilet. Where are they? I, damn it, I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. She's worried she might have accidentally done something bad. Then she remembers it's you. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them. Not mine. Something in you wants to immediately forget about hmm. this. As if there was a reason you threw them away. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> no, you really weren't. I'm sure. You were simply the worst. I'm going to show you the world of tomorrow. The great panic at the end. <laughs> Very uh, futuristic. Yeah, I'm sorry. God, I, I know I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again, and let's pretend it never happened. Thank you for talking to me. Goodbye. You hear a sigh of relief. Anything else I can help you with? Oh, officer? yeah, serial, serial number for boots. Serial officer, what's the number? And the make of the armor, if you know it. This. Got it. I'll contact the ICP database immediately. Oh. Call back tomorrow. What? Hopefully they'll have Insane the clown puzzle. Device. No way! <laughs> Was there anything else? Um... Have you heard about the well, serial number yet? Just like me. 57. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. Close the door. Um, anything else I should know about? Um... I have a skip points. Um, so I'm far. Um... Uh, what should I, what should I level up? Yeah, you good people out there in Radio Land. Um, mm. what do I want to have a bigger, uh... Whoa. Reconstruct crime scenes, make Whoa. laws of physics work for the law. That's kind of fire, I might pop that up, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Weren't yeah. physics an issue with, um, when you had to f try and find out how to knock the thing down? Perhaps. We need to call before the crime on the armor, the victim's armor. Or, yeah. Uh, I got an end of the day debrief with Kim, footprints in the dust. Um, oh, so like, you have like some checks you can um, check again, hey, like later. So we've been monitoring mm. you internally, and now we know your copo type. <laughs> what are. There are copo types? Yes. Guess what's yours? Some kind of weapon cop? <laughs> no, you're the sorry cop. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official then, shall we? Huge lack of enthusiasm going on in here. Uh, I guess I am. I am apologizing a lot. Yeah. Um. Uh, will the other cop types be jealous? What? Jealous of the sorry cop? <laughs> I think they'll be fine. Really? Don't worry. Uh, well, I'm sorry. They'll be super, super fine. It'll be totally okay. You can dual copo type from sorry to anything. <sighs> you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not- I'm sorry. I'm fucking not sorry. No, you don't. Come on. You'll be back to saying sorry in two minutes. Stop wasting time and begin the repentance. No, fuck you. I have to be- have palpable change, not just lip service change. Wow. Okay. 
Fuck off. Maybe we were wrong about you then. Yeah. No one can analyze me. Um. Yes. Um. Kiss me. Give me a kiss. What do you want to know? Um. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. Oh yeah, so we believe there's a bit of a rivalry and a pissy competition between the two precincts that Kim and myself work at. But we, uh, we don't fucking know. What kind of stupidity? The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine. As if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. This is true of a who could us about today. Well, sort of. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. I don't words. want it. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about the hanging. It was quite yeah. the brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. <laughs> Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. Mm. I just, he's just the perfect man. I, <laughs> I mean, sure he's engaging in a broken system, but he means well. Um, I wonder what this says about me. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I was to give a teacher lesson. Oh, have I figured something out? Oh my god. What, this one? Yeah, that's horrific. Yeah, yeah, whatever happened to Guillaume Yamiol, who, with his amber mane and sparkling teeth, beguiled the tattered remains of the nation. Hmm. What did I figure out? Um... Oh, I, should, I have to figure this out after this conversation. Uh, I probably have an unbelievable kill count! What the fuck?! Oh my god. Um... <sighs> An apocalyptic omen sent by my people. Can you guess my message? No. Better not to relay it. I agree. Too dark. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Against TOS. Was there anything else you wanted to ask about the competition? Okay, enough of the competition, then. We should move. Tell me something else. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. Plus one. S s no, about the Sylvie suicide oh joke. Because you're the best qualified. No, that doesn't seem right. I'm exceedingly you're qualified. You're so well qualified. Shut the fuck up. Guillaume Le Mignon. Wow. Wow. Bad news. Guillaume Le Mignon <clears throat> did not become a cop. In 38, he went on a tour to the Xinyao province in Safray where he died of auto-erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> His body was found hanging from a decorative dragon tree That's in imagery. his junior suite amid drug paraphernalia, unwholesome what objects, and the Sylvia Trainer single Wonderland skipping in the background. And yes, you can take this as a metaphor for Revachol in the 30s, and also as a warning. What was that, Zola? <laughs> um, David Carradine. Did he die of autoerotic asphyxiation? Yeah. Well, we gotta ask the union to let us into the let us into the fucking. What's this? I can run, please. Well, I'd like to run, please, union. It says grit. <laughs> Bruh. Scott. What did he just call you? A. <gasps> oh no. Not this again. You just got away from that fucking kid. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna say who I am. I'm not gonna lie to this. Yeah. I'm not gonna call, lie to call me manana. I was just messing with you. No <laughs> one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> <laughs> he chuckles, then realize. You get that feeling when you realize? Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north? Come to see the strife? Uh, short of money! It's <laughs> like, it like a, a mix of Cheech Marin and you. This guy? Aw. Oh. So, when, when me and young Cheech... He also has, he's got a bit of yeah, chong to Cheech. him as well. Yeah. 
damn. Two Jen Chong and Max. New, sh new show, it's me and two what? They're like 60 and 70? Uh, I've come to Martine investigating a murder. Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me in this <laughs> Nice, work. man. Um... <laughs> no fucking idea what I'm doing. That's okay. Cheech is doing NFTs I no now. What Fuck! I'm doing either. I don't even know what day it is. Don't tell me. It's a better day that way. Nice. Uh... Gotta get moving. Nice guy. Actually, nice hat. Hold on, wondering, <laughs> man. How I'd can like I help some you? help. Body still hanging in the tree? Hey, that's a rough pickle. Can't help you with that, sir. I'd like help mm. with this rough pickle, sir. I'm not really an admirer of dead bodies. Might be someone else from the Union can render assistance. I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. The passage grants itself. There's definitely a sex joke here. Aye. <laughs> Walk right past Measurehead and go in. Mm. Yeah, the two and a half mm. meter tall Semini Supremacy is there. Walk Whoa. right past him, then press the button to unlock the door, uh -huh. then go past him again, uh -huh. and you enter the arbor through the office. Esta. Yeah, he's Don't maybe going to be a little bit harder than that. completely <laughs> impossible. For example, you could best Measurehead in a physical confrontation. <laughs> Or you Kenya. could convert to a semi supremacist worldview. Or, hmm. Maybe it actually is completely impossible. Another thing. Sure. Good talking to you. <laughs> what's this? What's this? There's something in my hand. What's this? There's no lock making or door kicking here. Kim, could you get out of the way of this thing I was going to read? In notice in case of strike, press button behind a guard. Yeah. Great racial industrial harbor. That's here! Man, all these Yippee. all these ladies love Measurehead. Hey, Measurehead. Nobody betrays Whoa. the generosity. Hi, Measurehead. Yeah, Measurehead. <laughs> His body totally betrays The viewers on twitch.tv slash Meatloaf when they see me talking to a person in an online game. Don't <laughs> say anything. Size him up first. Sizing him up. Are you admiring my mortal physiology? <laughs> He's a big man. It must be frightening to stand in the shadow wow. of this racial pinnacle. Mm. Be calm. Ham sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> you I want to be a ham sandwich. Be calm, sandwich. ham sandwich. Because you are not a threat to me. Um. That is precisely the negligence that has led you to succumb to all rule. Don't smell a dead rat. You reek of it. An invisible a soul rat. of all rule I'd emerges from the throat. You cannot mm -hmm. see it, but others okay. can. It is making the woman in my company sick. Take down the dead body or let me in. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence wow, this guy of is like proper, like, phrenology me. style racism. Yeah. Show him the ham still got it. <laughs> um, not a not a lot of good options here. Not gonna mm -hmm. lie, to, uh, chat. Um, uh, I kind of, I just I like the first one specifically because it says ham sandwich. But facts. That's willingly <laughs> calling yourself a ham sandwich. How far the Occidental Ablo Group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. I got gross ass gloves. You sir. gave the world eugenics, electricity, Ooh. and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and state. You're really not making me want to be a ham sandwich right now, my guy. No. You dominated lesser cultures, like the deformed Hemians nice, and the inexplicably man. potato-obsessed Koikos. 
But now your ascent to the genetic summit has all Not a fan. You are obsessed mm -hmm. with sadness and with frivolous pop That is true you. of me, but still rude for you to say. <laughs> you will be superseded. Isn't that right? I don't appreciate being called that name by you, sir. It is, baby. Sorry, yeah. never mind. You know it. There is a button right behind him. Just out of reach. It must Maybe be the one that opens the door to the harbor. I don't... I mean, he's quite big. This man is not budging. <clears throat> Let's hope his superiors inside are more cooperative. Because your people put that dead body up there, you people should let... That's really not a great thing for an investigating officer to yeah. play. Um... You're right about all of this. I completely well, agree you, with your worldview. The guy did say, like, a, a good way to do the thing would be to, like, make him think that you're a supremacist, too. But I, I don't think... Yes! Fair! And a great way to get a big grant in the south of the United States is to wear certain robes in certain meetings. Mm. That being said, I just don't like being an asshole in video games, even if I'm lying. Um, you're right about all this. No, uh, I just need you to... Yeah, you're right about all this. Enough with this begging. Oh. You should leave the stage of history with dignity. By inviting <laughs> How is that up to me? <laughs> to a yeah. great world war. Bring your troops Imagine to the Imagine just up islands to someone. And to Boogie Street, and we will pulverize you. <laughs> Boogie Street. When you are gone, Welcome to Boogie Street. The walls will be lined with bottles Boogie of Al Ghul. Your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the owls to homosexuality. <laughs> Come on, man. Art, and your microcephalics. Okay. This is your chance. He's talking. No. Don't rip into anyone. Your sense. No. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I did not want to subscribe to his advanced race theory. Oh my god. You have a higher chance to. Mm. Sorry, I have a higher chance to become uh, a supremacist of his uh, of his race group. Try and kill him. Fuck yeah. Oh. <gasps> Owie. How did this happen? <laughs> Ow! Oh, he's holding your hand. Aww. It hurts. Maybe ham sandwiches aren't so bad. You must be out oh, of your mind. Oh, he's ready to shoot him. Degenerate drunk. Say it. Help! Your fist cracks in his hand like a... Oh! Words to the song have changed. Say, I am a Don't let him win. Drunk. I will fucking say anything. Your hand twists in his grip. Kim, please! Good. Now leave. Before you humiliate your homo erotic organization. I don't wanna! <laughs> I'm so. I'm such a visionary thinker, is my problem. My problem is I'm so, um. I'm just gonna. We still need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. I love you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random is... civilians. Because that won't get us anywhere. That is fair. I'm not even sure yeah. the one bullet in my chamber holes would even prick that hook. <sighs> but I'm a hero! We are not here on some political yeah. quest. We are here to solve a crime. Don't make the situation any more volatile than it already is. Oh, oh. Let's again. think of something else. Um, yes. Hmm. Yeah, he, he said he was looking to the whirling in. Uh, I don't know, think he. Um, he said he was looking at the whirling in rags roof. Measure head makes all men quiver. But yeah, he, yeah, he does. Um, or he did. Um, yes, yeah, so let's, uh, let's look around the town. Oh, interesting. Interesting. God, that guy's jacket's so cool. Him? The yellow jacket. This dude? At the top. This gentleman here? Um, which one? This gentleman here? Oh yeah, up at the very top. I'm a fan. It's all like stitched and stuff. Yeah, there's a couple of them. I would like to sprint. I'd 
leisurely stroll. Welcome to Burning and Rex. Yeah. Oh. 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 But of course. Uh, we have to find a way to get in there so we can get help to get this body down because we failed to shoot it down because I have poor hand-eye coordination and my my associate is very nearsighted. So now we're gonna go back to this cafe where I owe this guy a hundred dollars. Oh my god. Hello, ma'am. Hello again, sweetie. Aww. No good options. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this woman come with me on this investigation, and I've got to. Can I help you? Uh. I've seen something here. A thing I need to talk about. What thing? Yes, not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. Thank you, Gat. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders you don't need and them. always pay on I time. I get it. He hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. <sighs> so he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. It's a shame you gotta suck up with the union to stay afloat. I don't. I'm simply providing a service, or really it's facilitating the offering service. of services to paying customers, and it doesn't matter. I don't have to explain I'm myself here. to you. We should find out who this Lord Faction is occupying the booth. Lordness, we don't. We have to wait. They'll show up soon. What? Hmm. You feel like you should come back to this thing based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Hmm. The good, very good stuff. Now, there's, there's a way onto the roof. Um, some kitchen. Oh, should we find out how to how to recycle your bottles so you can attempt to repay them? No, I cannot. I cannot remember. But I'm just taking this money. Hello, sir. One one point fifty real. Man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's Court. Hello, Garassi. As you step in, Gar he nods toward the table and says something say? in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garansi and Quebec. It must be his name. Garansi. Garansi Quebec. Sounds representative. <laughs> Hello, sir. Got any time for a few questions? The man puts his cup down and replies something. His left hand drawing arcs in the air. Press the pots? He smiles and bangs his ladle Fuck against yeah. <laughs> each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling mm. and simmering S on the stove. Stay masculine! <laughs> you see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for mystery. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's for dinner today. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? I wonder where my pipe has gone. <laughs> I wonder where my pipe has gone. Garfield. Eccentric. Garfield. But okay, I suppose we could look into it. As a sad, sad investigation. investigation. He's not bothered by your eccentricity. He seems genuinely intrigued himself. A little mini little, um, main investigation will merge into a stereo investigation. Yeah. So, so. Gart is the person to ask about this. Touch. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. touch. The cobalt blue. <laughs> I'm really thinking and touching. Good people in the roof, I have a feeling that maybe. Hmm. Oh. Just making sure that that fully worked. Uh, I beg your pardon. But aren't you supposed to like, get to the roof? So, uh. Oh, yeah, door, yes, but I'm, trying, I'm just trying to, I'm being multifaceted. Oh, that's, oh, that's the roof. Oh, I thought that door was relevant to getting to the roof. It might be. I do, I do not know. This is, uh, mm. I, there's still so little, I, I, I don't know a lot about this game. Hmm. I'm certainly no expert. Um, mm. There was like a lady here. Oh, I'm guessing this is your room? This this is my room, yes. Um, I almost had a heart attack trying to get my tie off of the uh, ceiling fan this morning. Just for it to yell at you? Uh, just for it to become a rude being in my life, yeah. 
Good night, Yuma. Uh, always enjoyable. Always a pleasure. Always an honor. Good night. Good night. There is a door. Meaning there's a way out. This is a second. Second. Yes. Uh, I did not mean to talk to you. <laughs> Goodbye. Also, I still have my. I still have that gardener's gloves, and I feel rude that I stole them from her. But she said that she's done with them, so I'm just gonna allow her to be kind. Allow her to be a friend. Fuck, it's gonna be. Dead. Still not hitting freezing here. Stream the what? gardener. What's up? Friend of the stream, the gardener. A uh, knock, knock, knock. I would like to ask Garrett to drink some water. Don't the forget to drink water and eat salt. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. A tremendous loneliness comes over the bathroom. <laughs> but no way. Is doing something without you. <clears throat> Swallow the emotion. This is not helpful. The Ooh. door is closed. The handle. Oh god. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. That's not a good move for me, a, a person, to make in this other person's fucking yeah. space. Revashon. Oranyi. And Classy. I can't I can't talk to the bird, which sucks. Can the bird help through? you? God, I saw another thing after where they Another thing. Mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen. Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Do you know what's behind it? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just a frick warehouse, probably. Interesting. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. <sighs> junk and dust. Sad man. Nope. No idea. Don't want There's something else I want to talk about. Goodbye. <laughs> don't I have Kim's Don't I have um Kim's blessing? I got All right. Take me to the Fortnite. I really want to. You see a heavy steel door Dog with a prominent dimpled lock. Pushing it. The door uh, does back. not budge. It's got a dimpled lock. That's fine. We can be pro Fortnite gamers. Da 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 da. On the stereo area. <laughs> it's the same song, right? Um. um is it? No, no it's it? not. It's oh. that's um uh pump it by the black wow. eyed peas. I just gaslit myself into thinking that was Yeah. Also think that um Audible is a uh sound editing uh, software. <laughs> I <laughs> I wasn't even thinking, I was just like the sad thing is I use Audacity all the time. Fool. And didn't even recognize that. So it was not foolish I mean, kid. Kuno, stop throwing stop it. Also, get out of my way, please, Kim. Ooh, this is, is good. It? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. I must think. Because it's nice and orderly. <laughs> well laid pallets. Easy on the eyes. Must be. Oh, God, perception is beautiful. No. There's more to this. You get this strange I mean, I gotta feeling. feel feeling. my feeling. Hard to say. It's gone now. <laughs> Feelings pass, you see. What is this? Especially the small ones. What is this? Where am I? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing materials. Yeah, sh uh. for sure. Can't go back there. <laughs> Kim, Kim's freaking the fuck out. His jacket's so cool. Uh, yeah, like, there is a dialogue option to, like, talk to him yes. about that, and I really want to, um... I want to talk to him about what you. What about me? Um, tell me a secret. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the yes. order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. He's an intense man. He's handsome and beautiful. What's happening to me? Something the matter, detective? This guy's got authority off the charts. With just the flick of his eyebrow, he's able to make you his thrall. So what can I do about it? Nothing. 
You better hope he doesn't abuse his authority. There's a lot of it. Yes, sir. Except yeah. I don't his, know. His jacket relaxes is very, his eyebrow, like, and you seem to regain his control jacket. of yourself. Absolutely, yeah. Good. Let's change the subject. Okay, nothing. Goodbye. I'm going to beat Kuno with this fucking crowbar. Um. Doom. Bonk! There are several footprints in the mud. Get an left exact count. Boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Maybe more than twelve. Yay! No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Goes in one by one. One. Standard work boot. Steel hmm. reinforced toes. Let's get a count going. Six. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. I'm good at my job, it seems. Three. Mm. Hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 43. Four. Standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Well, which is it? You don't know. <laughs> it's a miracle yeah. you can tell the prints apart <laughs> as it is. The cold must have preserved them. More. Five. Another standard work. More. Boot. Six. An aberration, gonna be his... light as air, even pace, mm. same make of boot, but number 41. Male or female? Weird. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. Mm. The gait is undeveloped. We're pretty fucking good at this. You're not that, bad. That leads to this is if the whole the world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it, and the tracks burn in the middle of it, in a strange, beautiful way. Wow. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot, number forty-six, but the imprints are twice mm. as deep mm, as I is. wonder. Mm. The weight exceeds two hundred kilograms. Eight, this and is yet another standard racist. work boot, number forty-four. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole. However, wow. the right sole is smoother, more worn. How many? Mm. <laughs> Four. Fuck off, oh, man. Eight. I was pretty off then. I can't hit twenty. <laughs> Way off. Way. So you can you can either play this as like a sad, beaten up old man. You can play it as like a harbinger of doom, or you can literally fucking just play this game as Paul Bart from Paul Bart's Mall Cop. Oh my god. The same guys are going back and forth. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Light step number forty-one shoe. A woman or a kid? Could be a kid. Okay. How do you know? He knows it's hard to discern <gasps> oh. sex from a person's gait. Maybe What's... it's hmm? the guy's the guy's babe. Oh, not Kuno. Um uh because well, it's 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 a work boot. Uh I don't. Understood. Anything else? Yeah, like and Kuno's wearing fucking joggers. Yeah. Also, we don't know uh, Sylvie's connection, and also uh, the lady upstairs in Whirling in Rags, who you see when you first see the, the one that was, like, showering in that room, uh, said, mm. like, she seemed to, like, have a, some type of connection to uh, my character, and she was like, yeah, it's gonna make it really hard for when you have to interview me, but just for the record, no, I didn't do it. Um, mm. Yeah. Uh, an aberration one's a little smoother than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Do you have any ideas, Lieutenant? Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? Kim's just full of ideas. Mm. I love him. He regrets it the moment he says it. Just not. I don't know why I said that. Oh we are God. not looking for <laughs> Like, he's, it's just such naturalistic, phenomenal dialogue. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear on mm. the right shoe before the left. Mm. The accelerator is on the right. If only I'd come up with that idea. <laughs> he doesn't seem to hear. Yeah, fair. <laughs> south toward the traffic jam instead. The machines are silent. Could it the be the racist that we hate? Turned off. <laughs> we have to keep going around people be like, hey, what's your boot size? <laughs> we should keep our eyes open around the track. Let me see your soul. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? <laughs> yes, prudent. Mm -hmm. I have you on 200 you kilogram thinking? imprint. What's up? Um, After this, mm. you should show the photo to the old lady. I think he wanted to like show the photo to someone or whatever, mm -hmm. and the old lady is like a photo look at looker at her. She seems like a photo looker at her, like the old lady um, that was smoking, the mysterious old lady, the, the one that was like grinning at a photo. Mm -hmm. 
I have you on 200 kilogram imprint. 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, <gasps> one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. One of them was carrying him over? Possibly, yes. And how old do you think these tracks A are? A week, maybe? Uh, Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last warm day. Mm. Juicy. Like, this and Oberdin are, like, t are two of my favorite video games in concept, and I've never finished either of them. Um, mm. But, like, actual phenomenal, like, detective-ass detective games. Correct yeah. the game. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. And what ago. do you think happened here? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. We've been through it all. Um, uh, interact. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hangman. I just want to look at the photo real quick. From the right shoulder it's beautiful. to the solar plexus. In Each a time grim, the lines intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Oh, damn. Hundreds of faded asterisks. Riddle. It almost looks like the electronic patterns inside a radio computer or an mm. old filament memory. Gone. Gone. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? For you to discover. You've gotten as far. Very fair. Hmm. Does anyone know about computers that we know of? Kuno! Uh. Cowboys? Cowboys! Kuno 2! Uh, so what do we have on the docky to the moment? Oh. Call your station's Lazarus. Kim suggests you in order to sort out your health issues. You can use his motor care to make a call that you don't feel hopeful. Yeah, maybe not. Pay for damages. Find your smokes. Find smokes and smoke them. Who made the call from the crime? Get a reality lock low down. You have no idea where you are. Lee encourages you to ask others to explain the world to you in greater detail. Perhaps try a rich person. Rich people are educated. Track down your badge. Track down your gun. The victim's tattoos. Ask him to tell you about the case. Find out who is the union bo who is in the union box. Explore the whirling secret passages. Um, Kim, tell me about the case. Yes. Uh, uh, tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Uh, literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. Ah, uh, yes. The case brief you missed. Thank now you. I remember. Ah, that sounds very nice, my good friend, Kim. Like, it's such an emotive and beautiful portrait, like, that they use for Kim. Like, especially next to the real horrific yeah. one of me. Three days ago, he had blood on his face. Was like, uh, desk, he's the records, uh, but the security uh, guard alcohol damaging to his Martinez. skin. Mm. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling and rags hostel. Oh, I mean Kim. The oh, cadaver Kim? had been um, there for I think it's uh, just artistic shading. No one had come yeah. to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics this company. This is all the info Pines. for anybody watching this. Should approach and the if there's nobody watching this, where this am dispute. I? I'm scared. Get a pile of moss. What does the victim say? Who's the victim? Wait. What, um, why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Themselves. There's a strong Not prejudice mine. against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. <laughs> we have to find the killer. Uh, I still don't understand. Okay, anything. well. We are police officers. That's it good. It is our job to find the killer. So that's what I intend. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Um. Uh... Do you have a taser in your other hand? No, I've got, uh... Uh... A crowbar and... Chain cutters. Oh, pliers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I also have a flash a flashlight. Um, so we want to so be stun the killer. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was gonna take um, firecrackers, but I thought maybe it wasn't the best pull. Knowing me with firecrackers is probably not the right way to go. Free, it's sick. Low on health. Put potions in your points. Points. Not a potion. Not endurance. a real potion game. I want to drink a real potion. Ah, here it is. A green potion in the woods. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. What is this machine? Hmm? Oh, that's the tear machine. A, a bottle is ten cents and you have to get a hundred dollars? It's a machine for tear. You know, that would be what? you find tear outside. Uh, ten thousand like, bottles? bottles or yeah, I feel like there, there's other ways the to get machine, money, obviously. Then it gives uh. you money. Uh, how do I pick up tear for the tear machine? You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but... We gave them all out, so Fuck. feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some. I need a bag to start collecting bottles. That's right. I forgot that. It's so, like you just start like carrying around a plastic bag that you're collecting like glass bottles and boxes in. Good for him. Yeah, cleaning up the streets. Cleaning up Martin. This is stunning. Uh, I might take a little break, folks, to get myself a, a little drink or so. Um, maybe open up, up some chips. I have some Ruffles, um, South Korean onion. Onion. Uh, so I gotta go talk to the dock workers in there. That is not the bit to be working at the moment. Oh, I could, uh, uh, I'm not gonna talk to the racist guy, cause fuck him. However. Smiling lady. Yeah, I do like your fucking... I wonder if it prompts me. The woman still has the eye. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. <sighs> hmm. Why? Why? I just told you. Fair. Yeah, and like, uh, I can't, uh... An intricate... Yeah, yeah, it yeah. almost uh, looks like... It almost looks like it's inside of a computer, but not quite. Um, I think Sorry I can... that. Huh? That's all good. It is not something that I would have considered. I, I can't stop doing that at, after a certain point. Um, is there a map? Acquire a copy of the city map. That's fair. Mm. I see that right there is information that I do not have. I can't talk to any of these. Buy that from the store, maybe? Oh, perhaps. A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad made machine is well kept for such an old machine. Yeah, like this fucking hefty fucking truck. Look in the, window. the windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. And the back seat? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep, large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. The driver mm. has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar yeah, paraphernalia. Gross. Proclamations about honor, strength, mm. I also and think purity the are glued. Tough guy. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to just not. Uh, what about you? Nice aggression with the native. Don't let the chief fool you next time. You don't need to be that up in his face. You're also racist, you bro. Space to move. Not bad advice, actually. This might do the trick. Whoa. Let's talk about our right to work. Whoa. That, um, like, physical endurance one gave me, like, a... You know you know the game Blasphemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just makes me think of that. Whew. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't that one, sorry. It was, um, physical, physical, physical instrument. instrument. Oh, yeah, yeah, kind of a big old uh, conical head. Yeah. Oh, I need to finish that game on stream. Who are all these stride break strike breakers, anyways? Honest men and women, with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leaders? It's because he's huge! <laughs> you think they yeah. follow because I'm big and loud? No, they follow the rules of the market. 
the rules of the economy <laughs> okay. because they were yeah. given a job to do. Yeah, I get it. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. Where, where are you from? What does that you? matter? Yeah. Part of the investigation. Am I a suspect? Done no crimes. I only fight for the rights of people. Oh, uh, you're back. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain and Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. <laughs> I don't really drink, but work has taken me to some. Which one was it? Uh, I've worked a lot of buckets. Sure, it's all I know. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell. Yeah, I think. Mm, never heard of it. Do you like? Done here. I'm Cool. Very cool. Um, there's more to the town. There's more areas in the town, I'm sure. I'm. Oh my oh, God, gee. Hmm. But it's been two hours. Uh, that I've been streaming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Stop. I'm. I'm planning on stopping anytime times. No. It just doesn't feel like that long. Yeah. It's. It's just stunning. Oh, these dudes. Track. Tire tracks sitting under the roof. To what the roof is? Gentlemen, why can I not? Spirit, spirited chirps and clicks follow the air. Of oh, swallows fill the air. I can't read today. Hmm. I wanted, to, I wanted to learn. Oh, my butt. My butt. Tibbs has windows. <laughs> If you had a bag in your hand, perhaps you could click those bottles and sell them. <laughs> Fucking... Don't need to rub it in. Oh, wow. I want to... I just want to touch that ground. This ground? Yeah, like the floor in that area. Oh, yeah, it's like all scuffed up. And, oh, it's... Yeah. It looks like the, the parts that are like pristine would be super smooth and the rest of it would be super scratchy. So I just want to touch it. Feels very tactile. Maybe put it in my mouth. This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Interesting. Well, one moment. You have no clue. It's just a wall. Yeah, double sixes, and I would have gotten that. I think anything else is a failure. So many walls all over Martinez. Weather worn, cracked. Their paint peeling. Interesting. It probably like isn't like the best. Uh, Hello, Kuno S. Trying to sneak up on me. Come to slit my throat. Bro, fucking chill. Pick's nah, again. Fair. Try Mistrust of cop cops is justified. <laughs> um. Are you sleeping right now? Don't get fucking clever with me, pig. You think you're so clever. Yeah, that's, that's on me. We're expecting that to go different. <laughs> Balcony that viewed the yard and the hanging. That smoker up there could be a witness. Talk to him. What fucking? It's the same blue door. What the fuck? Kim Kitsuragi ghost moments. <gasps> a crate! Yo. So you see in this shit? Damn. Needs to meet up alone moments. Um, what am I saying? Um, look, look at my hat. Funky hat? <gasps> now you can be best friends with, um, the, uh, the guy. Bum hat? That's you're supposed to put a hat on your bum. Oh, God fucking damn it. <laughs> Seconds away. Just a closed door, but you look at it suspiciously. I look at everything. You see that? That's a jacket. You want rain barrel? I want to grow the herbs. I don't drink from the rain barrel. Thirsty. Sugar water. <laughs> it's fucking men in black, right? Can I yell out mm. of this man? You see a young man oh. on a balcony wow. nursing a cigarette. His eyes have oh. been following you for a while. Hello, nurse. Not looking for any trouble, officer. Uh. 
Wow. I, tr not too late, young man. Trouble's found you. No trouble for me. I just want to know what's going on I here. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. It's the god of cigarettes and youth. <laughs> Ask him if he's got anything to spare. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Mm. Can I at least have a cigarette? Apologies, but this is my last one. The god himself has denied you absolution. <laughs> I need absolution! Absolution? I don't know that brand, but I'm pretty sure you can get Astra's at the Frit. I don't want... I gotta ask. Can you just, like, toss that I'm one down? I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're right. That was obviously a bad idea. Forget I said anything. As you wish. Uh, I really need to talk to you. Is it really that important? Like a nervous cat, he keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. Can you tell me anything about the hanging? I don't need to know this kid's name. I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell Thank us. you, Kim, for step again. Where were you helping last me on this one. Uh -huh. Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? Sure no, not you. Some more muscular type. And when did mm. you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Last week? I don't know. Look. Ah, oh, he looks around the courtyard again. Rain patters on the window sills and dead house plants. Too late to do them any good. It'll take more than rain to bring this place back to life. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? <sighs> I had a friend over. Kind of friend. Uh, it was my Sunday friend. A Sunday friend. The How Lord. Intriguing. Makes sense. Friends are nice on Sunday. You don't have to work. You can just spend time with pals. Yeah, for sure. Watching rugby and drinking. For sure, beer. authority. <laughs> he doesn't reply, gesturing no with his cigarette. Under the grey sky, the neighboring windows are streaked with rain. Someone hides behind a curtain. Those windows have eyes, and those eyes are watching, spying on you three. You might as well ask his name. Hmm? We won't. I was gonna ask, you might as well not ask his name. I just don't want to put him in a, a bad situation. Awkward. Yeah. He's got a nice purple shirt. He's got a nice purple shirt. Excuse me, I really need to get going. <laughs> yeah, it's on me. Time to bring out your secret oh. charm. Tears and bear. <laughs> Show him your emotional side. Oh. Throw yourself before his very feet like a dog. That's... This is grim. Yeah, wow. What do you want from me? Do you want me to cry, huh? No, for God's sake. I don't want you to cry. Listen, I really have to go. Ah, there it goes. Wasted. You would have gotten at least a few good drags out of it. Good luck with the investigation. Thanks. Thanks, my new friend. You flicked and it was still in his hand. This guy's lying with every step! <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> He's gone. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Venus! <laughs> you should run after A very him tall rewind. man. No point in running. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! That's kind of haunting. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. So just if he, if he, he could be a witness. Isn't careful, he might hit the, Sunday the pin He might Either actually way, bump that We need to look into that muscular type who's asking about that. There has to be a way of getting inside the building. Once we found the way... Great. Who on the hill sees the sun... Can you go to the beta store? Hmm? Can you go inside the beta store? I don't believe I can go inside the penis door, but I will try to go inside the penis door. Oh yeah, because last time I did it, Kim said there must be mm. another way in. Oh, uh, it's probably around like the other side. Can I, uh... Can I go, uh... Wow, that tiling really is fucking stunning. Yeah. Brutus, thank you, name. And... I want to just, like, shuffle my feet along it. Like, I don't want to, like, take steps. I just want to, like, run I know precisely my... what you mean. Absolutely. Then you feel like the brrrr of the each individual thing. Was it she spilled the paint? paint? She spilled the paint. Are you Kuno S2? 
The streets will flow red once more. A Whoa. great torrent rushing down Rude I like this Esperance. character, she's cool. I do like Cindy the Skull. The streets will not flow red with anything. <laughs> Come on, Kim. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. Good for <laughs> her. Branding. Date of birth, blood type. The last time I was tested for Hep C. Yesterday. Don't use that tone with me. I am the law. Um, just answer some questions, okay? Ask away, Pigman. But I don't promise to answer. What you looking at? The lieutenant furrows his brow at another one of your eccentricisms. Mm. The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Who is she? Probably the wild pangs rep. We should talk to her. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. <clears throat> you should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. <laughs> Throwing her off is our best bet. My man, my fucking, like, he's so good at utilizing me. <laughs> good idea, piggies. Run along now. Fuck her shit up good. Impound that boat oh, while God. you're at it. I'd like to watch her swim back to Lausanne. Intense young lady. Uh, what are you doing to that wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aerial graffiti visible from low orbit. It's your deal. I haven't really started it yet. <laughs> I'm waiting for the right me. word. Absolutely me. <laughs> uh, so you don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffiti -o? When faced with a blank wall, most people <clears throat> write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home, and Mona was here. We rarely see pigs around here, though. Just union cabs. And my name's not Mona. So. <laughs> she wants it to be something true and total. I have a opinion on this. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. I love public art. I love public art. Thanks. I'm sure. Yeah, the <laughs> I'm sure when a, a cop comes up to you doing graffiti, he's like, "No, this is pretty cool and based, actually. Let me stick around and see what you do, man." I like it personally. Her desire to deface the building. Catch you later, Cindy. Watch your back, ungulate. Ungulate. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Is he gonna undulate? <laughs> The undulation error. <laughs> Who is this dapper man on the wall? Who? Him? <laughs> oh my uh, god! <laughs> is oh, is Spamton? Look at the nose. It might be Spamton. Oh, he's got a gun on the back of his head. Oh, let's, let us see. Do those. Uh. Ooh, Ooh, fun jacket. Yeah, because well, my, my jacket gives me a bonus to Esprit de Corp. Um. Mm -hmm. Better suggestion, but less half life. H half light. Half life. This cla <laughs> <laughs> I no longer get to use my Gordon moves. Whoa! Oh, it looks kind of sick though. <laughs> we styling. Um. I kind of, kind of fuck with it. What's a sapphire fire? Um, spe spe sneak under the nose, stun an immense panache. Um, my green snakeskin shoes and flare cut trousers aren't very helpful. <laughs> Um, and, uh, interesting. Is it because they're so tight? They are someone's <laughs> piss-soaked, cum-stained party pants. Oh my god. <laughs> Closing the video game now. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> well used. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. It's, it's locked. locked. This could be a way into the apartment building the smoking man vanished into. Knock knock! The door rattles against your. The door rattles again. But this is a elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. Stop banging on the door! I'm not letting any more strangers inside. Hold on, who am I speaking to? Doesn't matter who I am. This is... Now go on, get out of here. This is a police open the door. Nah, the police? Everyone knows the police don't come round here. But I'm not joking. But I, I'm not, come on, it's cold. No, I already told you. 
I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting This is really like a Bloodborne building. NPC. <laughs> yeah. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Backyard door. Wasn't there like the um with the smoker? Like the group of all like the Evil really rich there. people or whatever, and then or like the the high society people, and then they all get like killed or something for not letting people in. In Bloodborne, something happens. Yeah, I've not played the game myself, but I believe it. Oh, um, couldn't get in that way. Good. We had enough problems with bums and drunks and thieves loitering oh. in the hallway. You have no business here. I mean, we are real policemen. You're well versed in the kind of threatening legalese that implies criminal liability, but in fact has no meaning whatsoever. <sighs> Am I? <laughs> Obviously. What? Look at that vague yet threatening stuff spewing forth from your mouth. I mean, very good point. <laughs> I know my rights, and don't you mom me, boy. Miss, would it help if we offer to show you our badges? Don't say badges plural, him. Oh, no. <laughs> don't say badges plural, my man. Hold your horses. <laughs> oh, Losefka, but French Slimy says. Slimy's the uh, Dark Souls boy in our chat. I don't care about your stinking badge. Just come in. Cool, thank you. We get to go talk to the beautiful man. Oh, um, inventory? What's this? Oh, I was just saying that I've got that there. Um, the smoker on the balcony. It's my favorite Beatles song. Map. So I can try to fight Measure Head again. Um, ooh, I can try to conceptualize that back wall again. Um, still very, very high, however. Um, but we can't go inside. Like, obviously, I want to, like, roll to, like, convert to his, uh, ideology, but I don't know if I want to play the rest of this game as a racist. <laughs> like, I don't know what that's going to mean. It, is it just, like, convincing him that you are, or is it actually falling into it? Because, like, it's just, it, like, it's, it does say, like, um, oh, it doesn't actually have the, uh, oh, I can figure out who broke the window. I know who broke the window. I threw my shoe through it. Oh, um, hello, ma'am. Give me a moment. So, sorry. A potent pour les riches. The cold never mm. does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> oh my god. It's so sad. Um, I only have a few questions. Go ahead, then. What do you want to know, policeman? Yeah, we look like policemen, don't we? What do you think of my outfit? <laughs> do you like my fucking drip, ma'am? She's the king. What do you think of my, my bum hat? She knows the floor plan. Do you like my hat, my head? I'm looking for a young male in his mid-twenties, dark hair, skinny build, a smoker on the balcony. Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil. Right? This is like a Dobby-esque individual. Ooh, uh, Song says that you can forget thoughts for the cost of a skill point, so I can forget that Ooh. I'm a bigot. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is kind of a kind of a house elf type beat. With a That's her voice, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just cleaning, lazy. I'm just going to use my broom. Somewhere in the building, Master a is child giving starts Dobby crying. A gun. You hear a radio <laughs> tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. That's great. You know what's crazy? That's all one person. What's he That's in me. trouble for? I just wanted to He's wanted for murder. <laughs> I just want to talk to him. Talk? Oh, that gave me chills. That was a scary noise. That was really... I don't like that. Yeah. He lives upstairs in room 28. Her. Go to the balcony. I like it's your sweater. It's one of those doors there. Good sweater, good skirt, good boots. Good hair. Good skirt. Thank you. Oh, that's her hair. We oh should my go God. check out his apartment. Yeah, it looks, this looks like a hat, well. yeah. Yeah. Um, The powdered wig. Thanks, I'm off. Firing squad for the rich. This is similar. We've seen this before. Oh, you know what we can do? You know what we can We can equip this song. Both got the ears. I can talk to you. You know rock, rock down to electric avenue. And just simply. And then we make it higher. What goes by Montenay Realty Associates? Yup, that's fair. Oh, well. Oh. A shift in temperature. The air chills around you. Dust settles on the stony floor. <laughs> a former architect DLC. stands before a slice of window, a room plan in her hand. A cold wave has made the air in the building stand still and frozen. 
with temperatures falling down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. What was the plan? Faint pencil lines on paper depict the same place, but a missing eastern wall connects the room with the neighboring apartment. Ideas for arranging the furniture have been jotted down. Her face is red from the cold. She's breathing on her fingers, clasping the plan. Traces of sadness are visible in her expression. Mm -hmm. It's clean and empty, with new tapestry embellishing the walls. A standard HB graphite pencil has fallen off a three-legged stool in the middle of the room. She had an eye for beauty. Shiver. Just, just beautiful. Bath time! Good. Fridge in the bathroom. Uh. <laughs> Money and drugs in fridge in the bathroom. Yo, point twenty real. <sighs> nah, I don't think it is. <laughs> Mailbox is overflowing. Dead person? Could be dead person. 25 real! Damn, we got 220. Door number 9 is you locked. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel I just says want, I just want to 10. go in all these doors and see what the fuck is going on. The walking yeah. stops abruptly, but no one comes to the door. You can feel tension on the other side. A poor communard, from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. This is the police open up. Do I have to open the door? No, you don't. I'm sorry, ma'am. Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated no. to open the door. I if feel you don't horrible. Have a I'm very sorry. Let's go. We don't have to. I'm, oh, God. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh, what door is this? This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. Mm. No reply. Yeah, no. Um... It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. Yeah, a solid pair of chain cutters would make short I'll work bet of it. I'll you about Time for a little snip. Time for, time for a little snip snip. Me when um I asked the doctor for a vasectomy. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, if only. No, not if only. Uh, but a betrayal zone. Um. The lieutenant is concentrated on the hallway, scanning both ways for any approaches. Mm. What are you doing? Oh. You're trying to cut the body of the lock with the chain cutter. God damn it. Really <laughs> For sure, good. that's not how that works, of I course. The shackle you mean to cut yeah, the I know him. <laughs> He's just trying to help. Don't take it. Bad. Relax. Uh, Literally, that's what I'm trying to do. Perhaps you should give it another go. Thanks, man. What oh, God! I believe oh. it's the He's just trying to help. Perhaps you should oh. give it an... No, I don't think I'm gonna give it another oh. go. That isn't just a five-pointed star. It's an inverted white pentagram cradled in a wreath of antlers. Look out! I, I keep my arm, Mr. Sandy. Uh, oh, my God! <laughs> he doesn't wow. actually reach for his gun. Oh. The star and antlers was developed was actually in the a chiller and a funny boy. of the last yeah. century and quickly adopted by Mazov and the Communards during the revolution. Even today, half a century after, the star and antlers retains the ability to evoke hope, disappointment, and fear what does it evoke in equal mean? measure. Nothing at all yet. Right now, it's just meaningless shapes on a wall. This is a cool video game. This is a very, very cool Whoa. Those are sick glasses. <laughs> These are fucking awesome. Yo! Whoa! <laughs> also, um... Oh my god. My man. He was in your heart the whole time. Taking your shirt off for him. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! It smells of laundry detergent. Oh, he looks so sick with the glasses. Eviction notice. Oh, we match! Boys, it's boys' night out. Oh, and your your uh, color schemes are like opposite. This is Portal Two. Portal Two. <laughs> oh my god. Hee <laughs> hee. Time to wake up. 
Father. Oh. Oh God. Whoa. Slime. Mm. What, what? This is a shower curtain. <laughs> slime. Mm. I <laughs> love slime. I love me some slime. Hi. Maybe a bit of grime. I've taken your money. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Man, it's a shame that uh, the new Snowm stream was delayed so much, but I th they're probably doing some pretty yeah. insane shit, and that's that's why. Um, where is it? Oh, uh, shit. Um, you're taking shit? What room did she say was he? What, what room did she say he room? How do I get to the balcony? You are taking you're my shit! You're stealing my shit! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm taking your money! Um, where? Look at the door 28 in the apartment's building. Ah. I see. Balcony. Don't do it, I sad to your balcony, do you not think? Dabanak! <laughs> I love swearing. <sighs> swearing in French is pretty fun. You know what? I'm actually for swearing. And about swearing. Sacre mon! Sacre bleu! It could just be this one. Just door nothing for you here right now. How do I slash you know that? <laughs> yeah, like I love the awareness of like the gameology of it all. Someone's throwing rosemary and thyme and a cactus. This door is made of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Number twenty-eight. This is where the, the cleaning, cleaning lady set the smoker on, on the balcony. balcony. Let's see if anyone's home. Not no one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? <laughs> I don't think I can make it. Yes, yeah, shut Tomorrow, good, right? 9 p.m., right here. Apartment. Damn. Turns out it's quite tricky. Remember, tomorrow. He's. This door has no one. We should return tomorrow. No one answers. We should return. To <laughs> yeah, fine, Cam. No one answers. No one answers. I love this baby of game. I like how it has no bookworms. Oh, I'm glad. He I'm, loves this video I'm game. I'm glad. I'm glad, man. <laughs> Do you want a cookie? No. Oh. He ate us. <laughs> that noise is so bone curdling. Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't that touch it. Give me one hundred dollars, you fucking bookworm. No, oh. please. That's the that's the guy at the bar. That's what he wants. That's what? Huh? The guy at the bar. He wants a hundred dollars. Yeah, I have three. Hers. You have three dollars? <laughs> yeah, I've been getting cents so far. Is there a way of getting dollars? Can you, like, rob someone? Um, there's, like, a old lady who was very, very nice to me, and one of the dialogue options is, what about <laughs> sweeties? Do sweeties get treaties? Uh, which is the oh worst possible- Yeah, which is the worst possible thing uh, any human has ever said to another human. So, maybe not gonna That's do that one. one. A new catchphrase. <sighs> Welcome back to Soulsod Live. <laughs> Where treaties all get treaties. Fuck! Shit! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna cut the BRB. Um, or B. R. B. No, that's fucking Spanish. I don't know, man. Um. Shit. Um. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. What? Oh, my God. I've. Oh, it worked so well. Oh, did you, oh, did you Uber Duck something? Sweeties, get treaties. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. It's incredible. Sweeties, get treaties. Sweeties, get treaties. Wait, I wonder if me, if me at Versailles will say it. Sweet, sweeties, get treaties. Will James Rolf say it? Doc Reserve residents of Rue de Saint Disland 33A. Shadows in the water, green pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, James Rolf doesn't want to say it. Oh, not quite yet. <laughs> this is worth more than you'll ever earn in all of your life. Hello, ma'am. A striking woman leans against the cabin. She looks like of her sailing boat. 
smiling as you God her green that one actor listens with well, anyways. a silk scarf is tied around her throat Joyce good afternoon officers I'm oh, Joyce British. Joyce L Messier <gasps> I represent the board of wild pines the only father you gentlemen so must well. be from the RCM don't shake her I'm head. glad to see you here she is unfazed by your rudeness probably chucking it up mm. to local custom yeah, we're all fucked. In, we're all fucked up in this strange and weird around these parts. I was dispatched to handle Are you ready for this? Not a <laughs> Actually, I'll wait till she's. Anything wait till I can she's do to talking. assist the RCM in this matter, I will and gladly. My necktie chimes in and says, "Subscribe to me, so we meet." Well, hit well. No way. <laughs> Confirmed. James Rolfe supports it. That is good to hear, Madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from a. Unusual. Should you let her know, episode. Kim? Very unusual. <laughs> You're the one that wants to trip but and get her off a rhythm. Of his ultimate competency. <sighs> he always knows just what to say. How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation. And the full cooperation of the Wild Pines Yeah, group. so I think she's representative of, like, a shipping company or something like that. That's here mm. to be, like, a, a broker in this uh, conflict. It's hard to get a read on her precise you are on disposition, a boat. but she appears helpful. <laughs> you're talking about these tattoos? Definitely you're on a boat. <laughs> That's gonna be next. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Uh, fine, let's return to it Better later. not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. They're I hope there is the something question. else I can help you with. She wants to right. answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. Can I have some money? Ask her. Is what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? Do or why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. Squint your eyes, bub. What a nice fabric. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity. Don't. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. Why, oh my dark God. orange pearls hang from her earlobes. Red from the cold. Her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry. Wealth and all its possibilities. These are the kind eyes of the rich man that seem to say <sighs> everything is possible. Yeah. Within reason. Yeah. Now look at you. You misery clad simp. <laughs> Barely able hey. to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of wounds oh. precedes you. Your oh, I just you said your armpits are legs. Your, your armpits are legs! A scythe of- Your armpits are legs. You're poor. Poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too. Woof. Woof. Um... I'm not ashamed. Oh, but you are. Fuck! Too ashamed to ask this person for money. Too scared to belittle yourself in her eyes. Those half precious stones of Erdenil. As I was saying, if there's any way I may be of assistance. You're a boat. Why, yes, I am. <laughs> Do you have a license for this boat? Officer, I assure you, I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. Bet you are. Can I kiss you? The crowns Can I kiss you, please? Are porcelain. Why do babies come from? She smiled. Is. Qualified pleasure craft. Center real. So charming. Where's the death license? What? That's the um. That's what's uh, like slum the felt slump the felf says. Mm -mm. What is death? What is death? Can I see your license? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one but two. Insulindic regardless. Still need to see the license, man. One. Actually, you don't. What do you mean? The Wayfarer Act. I'm pretty sure I do. I police. Did you see? How he <laughs> I don't think I do. I police. <laughs> it's a little known fact among us. More like the Anarchy Act, in my opinion. Um, sorry, I don't know what came over me there. <laughs> Grunkle stand. About the boat. Mm, not a lot of people on boats, are there? Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How else? What the fuck? We're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. Caillou? Caillou? Uh. 
Still haven't seen anyone else with a boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit. Yeah, we're gonna chase your boat, lady. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor. It's, it's not, not the time. A, uh, I just took the time to actually look at this boat. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. It's stunning. It's neat. It's a little bit cool. Neither there, is this. So. A toy, I mean. Swag. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revachol. And turn it into the name? boat. No. It is called Cordelati 19 because that's the type of sloop it is. The word it well. feels strange. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. A breeze ripples through the sails and tugs at your hair. Below the well, sleek, boat really fish like <laughs> shape of the hull parts the water. Beneath that, a resounding a darkness. Boaty. You're reminded of something. Or some. Cool, but your boat really does need a name, man. Okay. How about Cordelachi 19? Why? Because it was manufactured in Revachol East by a company called Cordelachi. And its hull is 19 paces long. How about mm, Dolores? Why Dolores? I like it. Hmm. Well, it means nothing to me. I think I'll stick with a factory name. Cool, but, but your boat really needs a name, though. <laughs> uh, how do you like it? My sloop? I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. Nice. Oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Shit! I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the mother. <laughs> you gas! You, you ham! I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's I think I've figured the whole boat thing yet. <laughs> Can I have some money? Can I have some... Coin? Please? <laughs> I want maybe just a dollar, please, so I can buy a... a what do you do? We do. So I'm what, afraid I what do they do? Just <laughs> talking over her like that well. <laughs> Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. Mm. See You're those airships there? The rich. Thinking. Those are the shipping sites. Just of like things. Fox Mulder. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision mm. deals with energy, oil, oil and, and gas, gas exploration. Offshore platforms. Got to tell me something she else. Knows. Um, you only got the strike. Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I want to know about. I want to know about your trade secrets. What is your role in this pe precisely? I believe the official title is senior labor negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines counter offer. Via boat. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago. After that awful lynching took place. Facts. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking That's the a gate. Big person. Uh, well, you <laughs> my guy Measurehead. Yes, Jean Luc Measurehead. <clears throat> How were the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. Yo! Still partially frozen, then. I prefer to do these things on Are site, we? like the RCM. Joyce, miss you? But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont, despite concessions he granted the union in prior negotiations. I really hope that we meet the union boss of this stream, because he's a really fucking interesting character. This isn't mm. the first time the union has gone on strike. Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. What are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What did they say again? Every worker, a member of the board. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. <laughs> Over-aggressive commie posturing. Um, I think so, I have no idea about In business. In defense, another said, demand democracy. Pretty tame stuff compared to every worker, a member of the board. Most of them probably don't know what that means. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about 
anything. It needs the signature of each is... of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. I feel like this guy is just fully not the person to be dealing with this dispute. Just so you yeah. understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. you going to do I'm not sure naturally I assume that was just their opening position a hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery but there's been no follow-up just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again and now people are getting lynched I hear behind the whirling in rags a disastrous situation if there ever was one <laughs> yeah excuse me from whom did you hear about this lynching I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. Mm. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. This checks out. What happened to this uh, Garmont? Uh, oh yeah, tell me about Mr. Claire. Everett Claire is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Oh yeah? Of course not. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Christ! He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. It's not a, that's not how twins work, but are there two of him? Yes. Edgar mm. looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does, and when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. Tell me about the union itself. The Dave Ardair's union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act, but they did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? A mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. And your opinion, detective, if I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Dave Ardeur's union is... A uh, giant leaf sucking the life out of her, Michelle. Indeed. And a hungry one. Sadly, while Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades, just... however much you feed the leech, the leech always hungers. I'm just so interested in this like setting now i want to go to this town did you put the scabs there the scabs you mean the huddled masses of jamrock come to plead for work where the union refuses to if they were organized by wild pines or its affiliates then it would be a company secret i could not share it with you Wink. all right it's implied she's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion uh, what happened to the I'm glad you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the Union. She disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore, or coming to work. Ever. End of story. Extortion. Indeed. The company suspects foul play, but there's nothing they could do. It was a union matter. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Beautiful. Thank you for your concern, man. That's yeah. all I need. Of course. Thank you. How else can I help? Sorry about the lynching. Quite a few things, I'm afraid. The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, Fuck. I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi no. from Precinct 57, and this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope. How curious. Why is that, Detective? 
Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. God. I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? This will throw her off a rhythm for sure. I could have eaten yeah. it for all I know. I don't remember anything. The world, the city, nothing. Oh dear. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious <laughs> turns in our conversation. She must have been suspected of something for a while now. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share <laughs> anything more until I've seen that badge. Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial... You know, ask her. So, you like negotiating. How do I negotiate my way out? How do I negotiate? She's a negotiator. Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. Surely there's some other way we can uh, demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. You're in. But expect her to drive a hard bargain. Thank you. Have a suggestion? Reports from inside Ooh, Terminal dollars. B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The Union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. They're profiting from this trade. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Or you can recover your badge. Though, if I may be blunt with you, Rude. it sounds like that may be a lost cause. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, some of them. Oh, Robocop. let me say, I'm thinking yeah. real quick. <laughs> wow! Oh. Technically, you wouldn't be a cop anymore, but a hobo. That would mean game over for the cop chapter of your adventures. But mm. who knows where the hobo part takes you? To the bar? The old Lassemois, to the pair or the sewers, to Le Royale, where for 300 years they interred the dead. You could plunder royalist crypts for long forgotten triple malt bourbon, then fight the Ardamakan beast that lurks the bottommost sepulchres. The secrets of the city are all yours at last. Because my learning cap for shivers is raised to six. All endurance white checks unlocked. Learning cap for endurance is raised to four. Plus one plain, plain breath. Plus, uh, blood auction is boring. All psyche learning caps raised by one. Beautiful. Um, I'll figure it out. Bad news. Bad news? It may be sleepy sod time. Damn. Well. Because it is 1.36 in the morning. Yo, facts. That's very fair. Well, this game's probably not going to be going for uh, terribly much longer anyways. But I do definitely think... Um, I do think uh, Solo saw uh, gaming. Uh, I'm just gonna finish up this uh, conversation with Kim, and I think I might have to. I might hop off myself. But oh, thanks for I'll, thanks I'll for coming. For, I'll stay. I'll thanks, stay for the end. Thanks, it's gonna be this. Thanks, bro. This is not going quite as I hoped. With detective, the lieutenant's voice is hushed. How did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance, and you know, not volunteers to be her henchman. I thought it was going so well. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along. Or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. He doesn't let it show. But there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Sorry for bringing us the situation. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will, detective. Just come back here, then. <sighs> You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Voila. You're doing can I have some money, please? Really oh my god. Back into it. Yell it from the top of your lungs. Money! Money! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. You seem rich. The wind some is money. a bit strong. Could you? Why, yes, I am rich. How much money? She's surprisingly nonchalant about this. Hundred. Could it real. be that she somehow knows more about your predicament? I need a hundred. I need a hundred real. That's a good sum. Not too small. Not fantastically large. <clears throat> she's 
she removes a few notes. Oh my god! To you. Yeah. The paper is cold and oily to the touch. I'm working for the corpos. Whoa, whoa. Did you see how easy that was? Nah. Ask her for more. Toot toot. Train to money town. Nay. Twould be dishonorable and mine honor is my life. Can you eat honor? Are you an honorable? Give Careful me with that. Bore? It's the Latin word for eating yeah. solo. Get your mind out of the so, gutter. I hope I didn't just bribe you, officer. It may not be technically illegal under the Emergency Act, but still. I'm still getting my eye on this whole money concept. You were just helping me out. You're right, man. That donations are permitted under the Emergency Act. And seemly as it may be, as long as they are properly logged with the precinct. Hey, if anyone's he in here watching and isn't a follower, now, drop a follow and see you. I'm seeing a couple today. of you in there. Besides supplementing its salaries. It, would be, uh, it would be cute if there's more be pretty cute. content like this, including... Uh, we're almost 100. We're at, you, for, you would be able to make history as still being in the first 100 followers of twitch.tv slash if, if three of you, If three of you follow, there's enough of you in here. That if three of you follow, we get to 100 tonight. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do a little backflip. I'll do a little backflip. Oh, uh, God, I, I can't keep to that because I would break my neck. Um, talking about this alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into yeah, Russia. Yeah, ingredients for what? Meth and dextroamphetamine, Damn. GBL, and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it you want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Evrat and the Dock Workers Union. Still. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. Oh, 98. What? Two more. Someone Three's needs to fall? the ingredients from yeah, I think the so. harbor into oh, maybe. the city. Unless Once they would just, they January, I needed to refresh. They might have just refreshed it from when Burger Man called. Well mm. beyond our grasp. Also, that counter transit, sometimes takes a while to vulnerable. refresh. Mm. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Yes? Mm. See what it yields. Excellent. It may come in the Sorry, meantime. Kim. Let me Thank know. You, of wrong. course, detect. Okay. So we've made some pretty decent progress today. Um, we gotta find the jam mystery. Um, I'm going to quick save. Oh no, you got to Danera. Oh, I didn't. Uh, we got some new drip today. We are closer yes. in many ways with our good friend Kim. Uh, nothing. I was no like, kissing yet. Sadly. No, no kissing yet. But we'll get there. Don't know how how soon I'm gonna be doing another uh, Disco Elysium stream, uh, my good friends. It is possible that I will be streaming tomorrow, being Saturday the twelfth. Um, but I'm going on a little micro vacation on the thirteenth, mm. uh, the fourteenth. However, this Monday. All, if all things are right and if all things are equal and if all things are considered, we will be continuing Surf and Turf Smokescreen, the third Ooh. season of our actual play horror slash comedy uh, RPG in the Monster of the Week system, starring uh, my good friends uh, GamerHorse69, Crystal Flop, and Zinderell, <laughs> also known as uh, Chris Henry and Reese. Um, thanks for chilling with me for several hours while I play Disco Elysium and talk with my friends. Oh, yeah. Um, if you are, once again, I would highly appreciate a follow if you are not already a follower of the stream. Always people if, coming in right if at we the get, end. If we get two more followers and, and we get to 100 right now, I'll show a, uh... I'll show a little Garfield toy on stream. Oh my I'll god. Turn on my camera to show a little Garfield toy. So, and I will figure out how to show Silksod's little Garfield toy live. Um, but yeah, I um, just like off the bat, I never expected to get this type of support and growth in like, again, I've not even been doing this for a year yet. I am two months off, or fuck. April 1st is my uh, one year anniversary of the uh, first oh stream gosh. that I ever did. Um, so it's gonna be a big old goof, stick around. I got a lot of fun stuff uh, in, in the can. Um, the measly game show is coming, um, and that's all. That's oh. all I know at this point. Um, thank you, Solo, for uh, hopping on. I would also like to thank point you. people towards twitchtv live. Um, they've streamed VR sillies and VR goofies, and perhaps even a Garfield toy. <laughs> Garfield toys, indeed. Thank you, Slimy. Uh, thank you, Burgerman92 for hopping in. Uh, thank you, Steph, at the beginning there. Thank you, Hima Doban. Uh, a big old. Oh my God. So many people are showing up now. There's ten viewers. There's, yeah, I'm showing up for I'm, I'm so sorry, folks, but we are we are ending this stream. But um, 
We will be continuing with more Disco Elysium very, very soon. Um, yeah, I have been and I remain measly me off the box leading hedonist. Uh, as always, sex is cool, so is breakfast. Yada yada. G goodbye. <laughs>